742. So? So? Today's show, Baby Tips. Ah, uh, right. Thanks, Matt. That's something every caring parent should know. Oh. Coming up next, Martha Stewart celebrates Easter with her homemade corn husk crucifix. Ah, oh, we missed it. Do we still have that address for buying transcripts? Daryl, those segments are always the same. Give them love and don't push on the soft spot. Ew, it is soft. Made you look. And be sure Zoe eats her apricots. I know. Love you. Bye. Bring back money. Shelby, see if something's stuck in there. Not with the bats. You'll dull the blades. Use your hand. Hi, Carl. Oh, hey, Daryl. What's this? Homemade hovercraft, huh? Hey, Dad! What? Is the engine hot? Well, if you would touch it instead of asking me questions, you'd know by now. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, yeah. I got a few bolts left over, but she seems solid. There we go! What, you gonna fly it here? Not fly, Daryl! Hover! Hey, Dad! Should I wear a helmet? Should I wear a helmet? Rodney, a helmet's extra weight! Think before you speak, son! Yo, Carl, this seems very unsafe! Can't hear ya! Propeller! Anybody see those instructions? Ah, heck, I'll wing it! Kenny, it's like I'm the only person who sees how dangerous the world is. I know Wanda thinks I'm a worrywart, but I can't help it. I've got a precious baby girl now, and her safety means everything to me. Yes! Touchdown! You're my witness. Did you hear a word I said? Yeah. Uh, I liked it too. Liked what? The movie. Book. Anecdote. Heartfelt confession. Right. Hey, make opos. Yes! Hi, Busy. Shouldn't you be in school? It's okay. I caught the history teacher staring at my legs. I own that guy. There's a pretty sight. Uh-huh. Oh, if Daryl asks, that's orange. But it's not. Yeah, but I told Daryl I'd feed Zoe some apricots, and she hates them, so I didn't. Wow, you keep things from Mr. Mac? I thought you guys had a good marriage. We do! So you made it work in spite of the lies. Busy, I'm only asking you to change the color of some poop. Fine, it's orange. Uh, Daryl's a great dad, but sometimes he makes me feel like I'm irresponsible. Then I remind myself that if you just trust your instincts, everything will work out. <gasps> uh -oh. 
Zoe's gonna be fine, Mrs. McPherson. Just a bump on the head. Oh, my God. I still can't believe I did this to her. Oh, relax. Happens all the time. Now, do you prefer your left or right side for the mugshot? You're gonna report me? I'm just kidding ya! <laughs> Come on. Zoe! Zoe! Uh, McPherson! Uh, Zo Zoe! Ba baby! Zoe! Oh, my darling, my sweet angel, are you okay? She's perfect, Mr. McPherson. Thank God. Look under the Band-Aid. Ah! Are those... stitches? Sure. Just a couple of neck bolts and the monster's complete. What? What? I'm kidding you! But I did take some x-rays and I think there's something you should see. It's my family on vacation in Boca! Huh? Look at them! <laughs> that sweet, harmless little creature trusted me, and I wounded her. Accidents happen. I'm not a mother. I'm a baby maimer. Honey, don't beat yourself up. The stitches are barely noticeable. Oh, I swear, I just took my hand off her for a second. How was I supposed to know she could flip off like that? Well, it is in the book. What book? Uh, never mind. The important thing is she's fine. There's a book? Changing table safety. Oh, I might have skimmed that one. I highlighted the main points. Okay, I didn't read it. And that's why you're a non-baby maimer, and I'm not. <laughs> Come on now, it's not your fault. In fact, the more I think about it, the real problem may be the house. We may need to make it more Wanda-proof. What? Uh, Baby-proof. Baby-proof. Oh. This house is a death trap. It can't be that bad, Mr. Saunders. I've been in the baby safety business 30 years. Frankly, your child is very lucky to be alive. But we've taken all kinds of precautions. Really? Well, yeah. Like these outlet covers. Oh, is that what you call them? I call them throat plugs. You can't be serious. Well, what do we do? What do we do? Raise all outlets to 4.5 feet. The middle of the wall? That'll look terrible. Okay, keep them at baby level. Maybe this joint will get in-house beautiful. Give you something to read on that boring ambulance ride. We'll raise them. Daryl! Good. You need a safety gate here. But that's our family room. Mmm, nice Italian tile. Thank you. Also known as a horizontal plane impact point. What? What a cute baby. It's a lot funnier when Gallagher does it. This guy's a lifesaver. No straps. One earthquake and boom, right on Junior's coconut. Earthquakes? Here? The odds are like a billion to one. But not a billion to zero. You want to see your boy throw the winning touchdown in the Super Bowl someday? She's a girl. You want to see your girl knit a nice quilt one day? Uh, I guess so. Good. So you bathe her in here? She must have one hell of an immune system. What do you mean? Ah! You need a cap on the garbage disposal. Kids are magnets for flying projectiles of jagged food. Jagged food? That can't happen. Why don't you go to 8 Minden Road and ask little Stevie Krieger? Just try not to stare at his scar. Mm-hmm. Plastic dry cleaning bags. You don't have to do that. We believe you. It's more effective to see it. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I feel so much better. You don't think this is all a bit excessive? No such thing as too much safety. I guess you're right. It's about keeping Zoe safe. Absolutely. Honey, what's the combination to the new toilet lock? Our anniversary. Honey, I have a more embarrassing question. Uh, what are you two doing today? I thought we might go to the playground. Oh. Unless you don't think it's safe. Oh, I didn't say that. There are those bees around the trash cans. Mm. We could go to the mall. The mall? Though they have those escalators. I guess a shoelace could get caught in one. Well, if you say so. Maybe we'll just stay home. That's a great idea. Mwah. It's open.
happened, Melinda? No, it's not. Oh, yeah, hold on. I wonder has a baby. No diving in an empty pool. No diving. No diving. In a town without heroes, evil has a new face. A really, really hairy new face. I shall make king! But one man's brilliant mind holds the key to salvation. Three things that can save the city of Townsville. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. This is so cool. Get ready for the cutest superhero team of the ball in their first big screen adventure. Ready, set! Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup. Powerpuff Girls movie, only in theaters, July 3rd, Street PG. that conference call tomorrow yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me whatever happened to FaceTime somebody should go to Cleveland I'll go this wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express double points no what that's double <laughs> that's I don't wow okay I, I, I don't even know where that came from when I get back from Cleveland Surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim hair color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <sighs> new Maxim hair color from Just for Men. Billy Gibson is thinking about getting an Xbox. He's thinking about the 70 incredible titles like Spider-Man and MotoGP. He's thinking about Xbox's awesome graphics and gameplay. What he's not thinking about is landing the 50-50 grind. Oh. Anyone see my board? Xbox, now $199. Think Xbox.com to win a Cadillac Escalade and up to 70 games. Rated E through T. Well, she's still getting used to all this new stuff. Hey, cool! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, padded walls. The kids have wanted these ever since we visited Grandpa. Yeah, Daryl thought the house should be safer. Carl's a safety nut, too. He puts the loaded guns on the top shelf, no exceptions. You can't be too careful with your most precious possessions. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Mommy better take your temperature. It's just a sneeze. Yeah, and before I would have let it pass, but Daryl's got me spooked. Here we go, Zoe. Oh, you do it that way. <laughs> so, you see the Richard Gere movie? No. What made you think of that? I don't know. Wasn't Richard Gere in Deliverance? I think that was Ned Beatty. Oh, that's right. By the way, how long is the channel? About 50 kilometers. Huh. You got some kind of lock on the toilet. Oh, do you need the combination? No, I'm good. 
Your tub needs a wrench. Okay, let's have a look. That's funny, there's no reading. Where's the mercury? Didn't that thing have a tip? I know where it is. <laughs> Put poisonous liquid mercury in my daughter. I'm a monster. I'm a sicko. Wanda, take it easy. The best thing we can all do is stay calm. <laughs> hey, are you thought of something? Maybe putting mercury in Zoe's butt'll give her superpowers. Rodney! I read a lot of comic books. Superpowers are usually brought on by an accident that should kill you. Oh! Let's see. What would be a good name? Mercury Girl? That's too easy. The Thermominator? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Hello? Yeah, Becky, do you have those reports I asked for? I think you have the wrong number. Wanda? Daryl? Oh, how do you like that? I pushed the wrong number on my speed dial. Well, now that I got you, that I got you, what's going on? Oh, the usual. How's Zoe? Oh, a little stopped up. Hmm, maybe you should give her some iron. I'm way ahead of you. Wait, I got it. We'll call her Glovut. Glovut, Glovut, Glovut. What is that? Uh, Howard Stern? Can you get it out, Doctor? Don't worry, Mrs. McPherson. I've spent hundreds of hours practicing this very procedure. At medical school? No, playing operation. You know, to this day, I can't take out the funny bone without lighting up that nose. Doctor, please. Oh, right. Okay, almost there. Ooh. Ah, Mazel tov. Nurse, wrap this in a blanket and take it to the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny. What about the mercury? Oh, I wouldn't worry. The mercury in thermometers isn't the dangerous kind you always hear about. So she's okay? Mrs. McPherson, trust me. You could not have chosen a better kind of mercury to inject into your daughter's anus. See? You did good. But just to be safe, let's take a look at the x-ray, shall we? Oh, my God. I've never seen this before. What? What? A Scotsman buying drinks for the house. Ah! Ah! Two visits to the emergency room in two days. This is awful. Zoe's fine. But do you know what my life will be like if Daryl finds out about this? Wanda, come say night-night to Zoe. Against the wall. Have you received any items from an unknown person? No. Follow the blue line. Identification. Enjoy your visit. Kids, Zoe's daddy can't know that we went to the hospital today. But we did. Yes, but we're not going to tell him. Doesn't God want us to tell the truth? Usually, but not this time. How come? Never mind how come. Hey, if I'm going to burn in hell, I want to know the reason. Mrs. McPherson wants us to burn in hell! <laughs> okay, okay. I know. Let's think of this as a game where if you don't tell Mr. McPherson what we did today, you win. I know a good name for that game. Lying. Melinda? Listen, kids. Nobody's going to hell. That's just something your father and I say to get you to do stuff. You didn't have to sell out your whole moral code. I still got the monster under the bed. rock a bye baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks... Never mind. Hello there, my two favorite ladies. Uh, hi, honey. How was your day? Uh, miserable. When I got back to the office after lunch, I was fiddling with my key. Broke right off in the lock. Do you know what a pain in the butt that is? <laughs> I can imagine. Come on, Zoe. Let's go set the table. Does she seem heavier to you? You know, Wanda, I haven't been totally honest with you. Really? When Zoe had her accident, I think I did kind of blame you. And 
I'm really sorry, because that was wrong. Whew! <laughs> There's a load off my chest. I can sleep now. Night! <sighs> Good old honesty. Better get used to me. Good old lion. Well, back to the coal mine. Drive safely. Hi. Hi, Rodney. What's new? Hmm, what's new? What's new? Let me think. Has anything happened that might interest you? <laughs> Daryl, don't you have to go? I can't back over them. Gun it. They'll move. Saw a great ER yesterday. ER wasn't on yesterday. Sure it was. Special encore presentation. <laughs> So, you're into astronomy? Rodney! Because I hear Mercury's in Uranus! <laughs> Kids, half the time they speak gibberish, don't they? Uh-huh. Well, see ya. See ya. How's it going, Mrs. Mack? Oh, Busy, you were right. I should never have lied to Daryl. I feel awful. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you're telling the truth. Mr. McPherson, Dr. Gruber. Dr. Gruber, hello. So, should I expect your wife and Zoe for their daily visit? <laughs> a daily visit? If she comes in twice more this week, she'll get a free turkey. What? Kidding! Ooh, tough stoplight. Is my window down? Hello? Seriously, though, how's Zoe feeling? Well, her head seems okay. And what about that little rump of hers? Any discomfort? No more than usual. Well, I owe her one. Last night, hernia operation, big crowd in the operating theater. I told the story of pulling that broken thermometer tip out of Zoe's butt. Killed! Bye! Wanda took Zoe to the emergency room and didn't tell me? Who knows what goes on when I'm not around? Excuse me, would you gentlemen mind watching my baby for a minute? We'll call you Spike. Hello? Why, yes, I do hate my long-distance carrier. And that's the story of Pulp. Feel free to take home any wood chips you see around you as souvenirs. Oh, free wood chips. I've got to find Zoe. Wanda? Zoe? <laughs> Stupid baby gate. Wanna do it again? Watch, <laughs> mommy. Hi. <sighs> Heads up! <laughs> you think this makes my nose look big? That little button, come on. Thanks for everything, doctor. No, thank you. I'll be here all week. Remember to tip your nurses. Oh, Daryl, this is all my fault. I never should have lied. No, I made you paranoid by being such a watchdog. I just wish we could cover Zoe in bubble wrap so she never gets hurt. I don't think we're here to keep her from falling down. I think we're here to pick her up. That's so sweet. It's on the wall behind you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? Doctor? Doctor? Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue.
Because it's hard, Brendan. It's too hard. You know, anything too hard in life is not worth doing. Remember that. Premieres next Sunday at 10 on Adult Swim. Attention swimmers. We've got an all-new home movies. I have an announcement to make, bandmates. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm leaving the band because I hate it, and I'm going solo. Make it sound like my old lady's cat. Uh, which one? The tabby. I have to confess something, Brendan. Uh-huh. I don't want to hear it. I sold your guitar. You did? Yes. Mom, it was a rental. It was? Premieres next Sunday at 10 on Adult Swim. Showplace. This is it. Where you'll see new hit movies, all-time great flicks, gritty independent films, and all your movie favorites. Ask for Showtime Unlimited and get four premium networks on ten digital channels, all in one place. Show off. It's hard not to. With daring, innovative, new original series. Showtime Unlimited is breaking the mold with premium programming that's creating a buzz. Get ten unbeatable channels. Call today. If you wake up sore, stiff, with back, neck, or shoulder pain, wishing for a great night's sleep, call for this free Better Sleep and Gift Catalog, featuring three free fabulous gifts. Choose a free camcorder, free digital camera, or free DVD player, free with purchase of any Craftmatic Monaco adjustable bed. To receive your free Better Sleep and Gift Catalog with free information on the adjustable bed that costs 50% less than many quality flatbeds, call now. Call toll-free 1-800-948-3553. That's 1-800-948-3553. Call now. The Powerpuff Girls movie in theaters now. Rated PG. We are back, man. That was possibly the finest rock and roll show I have ever seen. I smell world tour. Wow. You mean the whole world? Yet. You're not Gene. You're not Paul. You. You guys aren't Kiss. No. But we did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Stay smart. Stay at a Holiday Inn Express. Adventures of the Summer he is out of this world. Eddie Murphy. Please meet my friend Bruno. Ah! So he has a happiness chip. Well, that's why he always. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Rated PG 13. Starts Friday, August 16th. Reign of Fire is an action packed roller coaster ride. The most frightening creatures to hit the screen since Jurassic Park. Matthew McConaughey. Christian Bale. Reign of Fire. Rated PG 13. Is now playing. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestions. This movie is rated PG. More of the top 100 reasons to own Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius on video and DVD. Hair-raising technology, new uses for toasters. Hello, no, I greatly admire your ship. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius is rated G. Available now on video and DVD. Reign of Fire is an action-packed roller coaster ride. The most frightening creatures to hit the screen since Jurassic Park. Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bale. Reign of Fire, rated PG-13, is now playing. We've been trying for years to get a mole inside Dr. Evil's lab. <laughs> here, here. So you're the... Mole. Hi. Nice to mole you. Meet you. Nice to meet you, mole. Don't say mole. Stop. Mole. Bye. Mole. Austin Powers in gold member. Whoa! <laughs> Mole, 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 mole. Rated PG-13. Opening everywhere July 26th. From the producers of Independence Day and Godzilla, a species is mutating. What the hell is going on? Phones are dead. A mystery is...
is unfolding. What exactly is that? The trap. Get out of here! Starts this Wednesday. Hey, pull in. Daddy, hook up. Daddy, 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 daddy. What's the next? Look where you are. You didn't tell us your boyfriend was going to be here. Yeah, and don't tell my mom. She still thinks he's in juvie. All new Baby Blue, Sunday at 10.30 on Adult Swim. Baby Blues, coming up next on Adult Swim. Adult Swim! Oh, heads up, readers. Young and free coming through. Hi, Busy. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, hello, Wanda. My goodness, it's hard to believe that 53 years ago, my Howard was this size. Hey, Ma! I'm thirsty! Oh, all right, Howard. Reading funny books in his treehouse again. Hey, little help. Hi, Midge. Hi, Sylvia. Getting ready for your league? Oh, yeah. We could still use a good point guard. Oh, I haven't played in years. They're talking to me. Right. So sorry. Hey, neighbors. Josie, your garden is beautiful. And here's a rose for little Zoe. Just getting everything squared away before our winery tour of the Loire Valley. Hey, can we take your mail in while you're gone? Great! Bon voyage! <laughs> take care, Have everybody. a great trip. That was a nice thing to do, honey. Hey, good neighbors make a good neighborhood. And we have great neighbors. Rodney! I'm not putting them on! Oh, you're putting them on! No! I gotta see if your Easter pants still fit. I hate those pants. They're itchy. You could be uncomfortable for one hour a year. That's what religion's all about. Now get down here and put them on. No. On. No. This is not a negotiation. Negotiate this. Oh, you're in trouble now. I'm coming up there. Gravity gonna stop working? Oh, keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> Why does every block have to have one bad family? Oh, the Bittermans aren't that bad. But it's very frustrating. We work hard to raise Zoe in a wholesome environment, and instead she's exposed to this. You're coming down now! Hey! That's our tree! Ah, oh, it's no use. We'll have to throw something away to make space. How about the liquor cabinet? Wanda, we can't throw out our liquor. What if we want to toss a swing and party? I'll get a garbage bag. Hello. <laughs> hmm, that smells like my grandpa's beard. Grandpa Billy? Yeah. He was such a lovable old guy, always in a good mood, talking in silly voices. And no matter how loud we played, he never complained, just drank his tea and took his naps. <laughs> oh, my God. Grandpa had good taste. This is single malt scotch. Does that really taste better? Oh, yeah. Try a sip. Mmm. Woodsy. Yeah, that's the oak barrel you're picking up. They age it for 12 years until it's reached its peak of... <coughs> uh, flavor <coughs> and <coughs> smoothness. <coughs> Hi, Wanda has a baby. <coughs> Hi, Melinda. What's up? Uh, we gotta go in your backyard, uh... Rodney threw his church pants over the fence. Go ahead. <clears throat> the gate's open. Thanks. Did you see that bottle? Did you smell her breath? She was ripped as a rummy on government check there. It can't be true. Wanda's my friend. Wake up, Mel. Your friend is a negligent booze mama. I'm gonna be keeping a closer eye on our dear neighbors. Hey, Captain. What you doing? Hey, Kenny. I'm the chairman of my neighborhood Easter egg hunt, and I'm drawing a map of good hiding places. Oh, my God, you're serious! Go ahead, make fun. But if pitching in to make my daughter's neighborhood a better place makes me a dork, then fine. I'm a dork. Ah, oh, you're not just a dork, Captain. You're the Prince of Dorkness. <laughs> yeah, I should write for Fraser. Don't tell. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to find a special place for you. 
Aha. Perfect. Oh, -ho. didn't count on me having night vision goggles, did you, Snoopy Doo? Now, do you believe there's something off about that family? Oh, my God. I bet Daryl's out there every night watching me do my lady's business. Why doesn't Wanda do something? Probably passed out in a puddle of her own sick. This is awful. We're living next door to a rubber dub and a peeper. I knew they were trouble when they came around collecting for UNICEF. You know that's a cult. I do now. Smile. Look how beautiful you two are in your Easter bonnets. You look nice, too. Uh-oh. What? Daryl? Wow, that is one big mother bee. It's going after the flowers in my hat. Do something! Do something! And there he was, straddling the branch, hoping to get a glimpse of me and my seductives. And dollars to donuts were all stars in his private video collection. And I checked the recycle bin this morning. It was full of empty liquor bottles. You went through the garbage? Good work, son. Well, I find it very hard to believe the McPhersons would ever... Ah! Don't let him get me! Don't let him get me! Wanda, stop! You know, running only makes it worse. You were saying? On Easter Sunday. And in front of the baby. I'm a wreck about it. Kids are so impressionable. Ah, oh, that's better. And look what I found in the trunk of his car. Good hiding places? For what? Isn't it obvious? Japanese erotica. Thanks for setting us straight, Carl. The people have a right to know about this. Now let us celebrate the fellowship of this joyous day by raising our voices in song. We have a lot to be thankful for, sweetie. We certainly do. Raising our daughter in such a fine community. Blessed be the time that finds. And she gave the baby a liquor bottle by mistake. My Howard saw the whole thing through his telescope. Saints preserve us, an innocent babe raised by two devils. So on really dark nights, when clouds hide the moon, Mr. and Mrs. McPherson rise out of the toilet and sneak up on kids while they're sleeping. I want my juice. We can be quiet, Howard. Rodney's talking. Anyway, they sneak up on you while you're sleeping so they can crack open your skull. Then they suck out your brains. Mm, brains. Yeah. Rodney saw them do it. Yeah, here he's running a Japanese sex ring out of his basement. I thought Daryl was a wimp. I didn't know he was a perv. I have a new topic for today's sermon. Satan walks among us! Both got them eyes. Did it seem to you like we were getting lots of strange looks in church? Hello, Mrs. Johnson! <laughs> What's going on? I'm following them right now. Oh, Murphy, I have something for you. Slowly. It's a flyer for the Easter egg hunt. Set it on the ground. Kick it over here. There's Punch! Hey, Rodney, Megan, Shelby. I hope we see you at the Easter egg hunt this afternoon. You think we never read Hansel and Gretel? We'll pass, thanks. Come on, kids. I'm giving the winner a special surprise. It's OK, Shelby. They can't get you in the daylight. Rodney, Shelby, you get in here right now. Melinda, why is everybody acting so weird? You're calling us weird? That's a funny. Oh, and uh, Wanda, 
Tomorrow at breakfast, try a little milk on your cornflakes. For the kids' sake. Daryl, you know how every neighborhood has a bad family? Yeah. I think we're it. I was pouring the whiskey out! Into your mouth. Rodney, we do not say things like that to Mrs. McPherson's face. It's not like she'll remember. Why don't you believe me? One day I saw the whole thing on a Lifetime Channel original movie with the marquee posters you. What was it called? I'm not a drunk. Nah, it was something else. Ah, there we go. Rodney, that's not good for the grass. Look, I'm not judging. I might nip a little, too, if my husband spent his evenings peeping in windows. He was hiding Easter eggs. Oh, Wanda, don't enable. Look, I hope you work out your problems. I really do, but I got a family to keep safe. Mommy, I'm a flying pointy thing! Yes, you are, Megan. You're telling me you won't deliver a pizza to my house? What do you mean you thought I preferred Japanese? Hello? Boy, I'll be glad when this blows over. But what if it doesn't? When I was growing up, we used to pick on this kid named Lowell Horton. We'd chant, Lowell the Mole lives in a hole. Lowell the Mole lives in a hole. How long did that last? Until the day he left for Princeton. Stay on the sidewalk. Move along, then. Stay on the sidewalk. Let's not draw any attention to ourselves. Rex, Josie, what's going on? A uh, neighborhood meeting. Should we go with you? That wouldn't be a good idea. By the way, we're not going to need you to watch the house while we're away. So if you could return, need you to watch the house while we're away. So if you could return the keys. Rex, they could have made copies. You're right. We'll change the locks. Have a nice day. Hey, McParents. Hi, Busy. Are you going to the meeting too? Nah, I'm gonna pull Switzerland on this one. Hey, could you guys buy me some beer? Beer? Certainly not. I, know, I was just checking to see if you'd really gone dark side. I didn't think so. Thank goodness someone believes us. Yeah, I still like you guys, but I really can't be seen with you because, you know, you're unpopular. What are they talking about over there? Probably discussing which slipknot makes the best noose. But we're a good family. We separate our garbage, we buy dolphin safe tuna. This is completely backwards. Broken glass. Someone could step on that. If they don't kill us, I'll come back tomorrow and clean it up. Oh, now they're burning the mill down. If we survive, I'm going to organize a 5K run to help rebuild it. Is this bread strong enough for both of us? I think they'll probably hang us one at a time. Would you stop with that? Can you hear what he's saying? Maybe if I get a little closer. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. There he is, right on his favorite perch. I can't believe it. Hello, Daryl. I took the liberty of installing a motion detecting laser grid after I discovered your little hobby. Well, you've seen it with your own eyes. Who wants to sign the petition? This is a lifestyle choice I cannot condone. Give me that pen, love toy. Yeah, oh, right. oh, and Daryl, on the off chance we haven't run you out of town by next Easter, you're off the egg hunt committee. They've gone too far this time, Wanda. I'm sick of this whole stinking neighborhood. I want to make those wuss bags pay for not seeing what good, decent people we are. I'm with you. They want a bad family. Let's give them a bad family. Oopsie, little spit up. I'll get a wipe. <laughs> You knocked over my trash can. Yep. Well, you gonna clean it up? You gonna make me? Make you? I'm standing right here. Okay. 
Forget it. Still here. I said forget it. stacking up. I'll take care of it. Hey! You know, I never would have thought it, but being the bad family is kind of fun. Yeah, you don't waste half the day with boring small talk. Wanda, Daryl, how's Zoe? None of your business, prune face. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McPherson, could we have our ball back? No, I think I'll just keep it. Please. We now return to When Animals Eat Their Trainers 3. You know, animals have the right idea. If it feels good, do it. <laughs> <laughs> when did you guys get cable? Recently. Carl, our cable's out. What? <laughs> I thought you weren't going to hang out with us anymore, Busy. I miss Zoe, and I'm pretty sure no one saw me come in. Oh, hey, when it's time to leave, could you guys create a diversion? How's firecrackers? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! What'd I tell you kids about ringing this doorbell? Get off my lawn, you! You! Hoodlum! Hoodlums! Zoe, Zoe likes to suck her toe. Oh, Daryl, do you realize what we've done? Yeah, we've turned Zoe into Lowell the Mole. How did you think of that? Who knows how inspiration works, Em? This one came to me on the pot. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the terrible words that rhyme with Zoe. There's hundreds of them. We gotta change your name to something you can't rhyme. Uh, Hortensia! That'll stop the teasing. We have to figure out some way to undo this before it ruins Zoe's life. You don't want to date her. She's from a bad family. You want to date her. She's from a bad family. <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. Carl and Melinda convinced everyone we were bad, and now we really are bad. <laughs> you guys aren't bad. Are so. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Well, then everyone's bad. I mean, who doesn't have some secret they're ashamed of? You guys need more frosting. Daryl. Carl. Melinda. Wanda. That's the baby. May we come in? Why don't you just state your business here? And I already told you, Wanda, I'll give you food but not money. Oh, we don't want anything from you. We just wanted to tell you that, uh, we know. Know what? Your little secret. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I think you know exactly what we're talking about. How'd you find out? What does it matter, Carl? They know! Rodney! I didn't tell him, Dad! Now may we come in? When? Ah. Now, here's how it's gonna be. If you don't want the rest of the neighborhood to know your little secret, you will go door to door and tell everyone you made a mistake about us. And if we don't? We show them the pictures. Carl, they got pictures! What can we do? They hold all the cards. I'll go put on my sneakers. I gotta hand it to you, Daryl. For a guy who recycles, you are one cold-blooded SOB. Back at you, Carl. I think this calls for some champagne. What do you think their secret is? Let's hope we never find out. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Johnson. 
It certainly is a relief to have everything back to normal. I'll say. Mr. and Mrs. McPherson, would you like to buy some lemonade? We sure would, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, this round's on me, McPherson's. Thanks, Murphy. Hey, that's nice. Happy to treat my favorite family. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have a nice day. Hey, adios. Take Here, it easy. All right, then, my pleasure. You know, Wanda, I'll bet things would have gone back to normal even if we hadn't done anything. I think so, too. Good people always do the right thing in the end. And our neighbors are good people. How much do they know? They found out about Carl and Melinda. Smart Money says they got the goods on everyone. No reason to panic. Everything will be fine as long as they don't anger the leader. I'll die before that happens. To the leader! To the, the leader! leader. my massage class paying off? Do you think I'm ready to go professional? Oh, yeah. I minored in massage at Borchmore. Ooh, can I go next? Sure. Oh, yeah. Ah, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's joshing you, Andy. Premieres tonight at midnight on Adult Swim. This program is brought to you by the Bay Malicious Hotties who love guys who use Maxim hair color. Sharp-looking hair is a surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim Hair Color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which, which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <sighs> new Maxim Hair Color from Just For Men. This isn't the chocolate I sent you for Valentine's Day, is it? Huh, look at that. Huh. You never opened it? Oh, my. <laughs> it's all your fault. If you still haven't heard the truth about alien life on Earth. So you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with... Consider that yourself that lucky. Your Frank! <laughs> You better pick up a few things. Yeah. Let's make it hot. Men in Black 2. Is that your standard? Actually, he came with a black dude, but he kept getting pulled over. Better PG-13 opens everywhere Wednesday. Five seconds to transmission. Kyle, we're ready to send you back in time. Remember, do not interact with the past. Just observe. All right, let's go. It's back. What? He has something. Pull the lever. Pull the lever above your head. Pull it. Please, Carl, pull the lever. One tiny bottle of sun kiss couldn't possibly alter history, right? I don't know. No, no, no. Mr. President, your new cabinet. Thank you. That's a... Sun kiss. Experience the charge. Uh, good work. Coast to coast next. Coming up next. Come on, I need your superpowers. Uh, I have none. What? No, I'm just a little crazy, obsessed with fighting crime, but uh, I have no superpowers. So your whole life is a lie. Wherever I find it, I fight crime, and there is a crime here today, I say. No kidding. Okay, let's just get this over with. No one's watching. What time does this thing come on? Nighttime. Yeah. Is there a certain Night time? Nighttime. Does space have the same time zone? Nighttime. Yeah, okay, cool. I will please welcome your next guest, Science Guy Bill Nye. Okay, please welcome my next guest, Science Guy Bill Nye. It's great to be here. It's great to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. Science guy, I'd like for you to explain to our young viewers why they should believe in ghosts. Okay. And that it's okay that I'm able to transcend all laws of physics and appear on television. You must be part of science that we don't understand yet. That's what I figure. You hear that, Zorak? Keep talking, Bill. You're from stuff that's too complicated for us at our level right now to get. You know what, Bill? Perhaps I am. Fall of coal. <laughs> Identify yourself to the universe. I am Mike Judge. I am the creator. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what you do. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can help you with your little cartoon deal. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to know what I could do to make what I do funnier. You should make your show like Die Hard, only put it on a bus. And then you should make the guys talk funny and hit each other in the head and have explosions. Wow. I, I, I'm going to write that down. Yeah, and you should give all the guys in the thing a destructo yeah. ray and a freeze ray. And you should make them talk funny and hit each other. In the head. Yeah, in the head. Maybe you should explain what you're talking about to some of our less sophisticated viewers. Well, that is the time between hugging your partner. You know, Adam, I can hug all night. Although I never see you with any women. What do you mean? Women are all over me, like proton shields on the lost city of Guff. But yet you go home from the studio each night alone. I have my puzzles. But you can't squeeze puzzles. You could squeeze puzzles. Yeah, but the covered bridge you just made would break and go into a million pieces, and you'd have to rebuild it again on your lonely kitchen table. Not if you laminate them. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Biscuit. Not now. Biscuit. What do you want? Well, my name's Moby and I'm from New York City. Where are you from? I'm from outer space, Moby, home of the universe. Biscuit. Are there any trouble spots in the universe right now that you can talk about? Yes. Biscuit. Sorry. What did you think about, the, what was it, the Shoemaker-Levy comet that crashed into Jupiter? shoemaker what? The Shoemaker-Levy, it was, it, was it was a three stage comet that crashed into Jupiter. Wow. Yeah, and they'd said that if it, if a comet like that hit. Was that on a Tuesday? Uh, because I think I had a guitar lesson that day. Yeah, but you would think something like that. That's like being a, a policeman. Listen, I can't worry about every little snafu. I have celebrities to talk to, like Moby. Celebrities, huh? So celebrities are more important than the safety and well-being. Nobody of cares, fine donuts. Moby. Nobody cares. So what do you guys know? Uh, it's Mark Hamill here. Whoa! Look who's here, young people. It's none other than Duke Fartknocker. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skytopper of the popular Space Wars science fiction mega empire franchise. Uh, I think it's much more along the lines of a fairy tale than it is straightforward science fiction. Whatever, Professor. How's Chewie? Chewie? Well, you know, uh... <laughs> you and me both. But seriously, Mark, was it scary working with Lord Vader. James Earl Jones is just such a gifted person and... Prowse. Uh, huh? David Prowse. He played Vader in the movie version, not Jones. <laughs> Maybe I said a dirty word. Oh, you did, pal. David Prowse? Are you joking? If this is a joke, I'm not laughing. Prowse is the true Lord Vader. Prowse? He was a figurehead. It is Jones who is the true Vader. Answer me this, Moltar. Who patrolled the galleys of the Death Star? The Ewoks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't patronize me, Bantha Fodder. Well, if you consulted your handbook, you would know it was the Stormtroopers. Yes, of course, but who led them, Moltar? Huh? Who led them? Refresh my memory on this one, if you please. Would that be... Prowse. But exactly! But exactly, Moltar. That's exactly what I thought. Hey, what do you fellas think of those Ghostbusters? You'd think they'd scare me because I'm, you know, I'm a ghost. I mean, hey, Zorak. 
Who are you gonna call? I'm gonna call you an idiot. What? You heard me, mouth breather. John, are you into aromatherapy? Yeah. Well then, let me introduce you to the exotic fragrances of East India. <laughs> sure. John, picture a camel, if you will, traipsing across the desert sands. Uh, hold on. John, I accidentally unhooked your oxygen. Sorry. Oh man, we're screwed. Don't panic. What are we gonna do? Hold your breath for 10 seconds. Oh, just... Now, if I'm not completely satisfied, you say I get a full refund. Well, that sounds fair. And still keep my miracle hat? Yeah, I think I do know a couple of people who may be interested. Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup, three names, three girls, three days till their movie opens. Oh, and three tickets. One for me, my mom, and dad. We'll be there. Will you? Be there. The Powerpuff Girls movie. Only in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. Geico. Geico. Geico has great service. Geico has great service. Our claim representatives, that's right. Are available 24 hours a day. You have a very commercial look. Next, please. Well, hello. Oh, great. A talking gecko. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Summer's here and time for fun with Mediacom Digital Cable. More channels, the hottest movies, CD quality sounds, and more. Call now and save 50% on your first month of any digital package. You can also save on super fast internet service from Mediacom Online. So, what are you waiting for? Find out more in this feature-packed summer guide to family entertainment coming your way soon. Heat up your summer with the best in home entertainment and information from Mediacom. What's it like to crunch into a twin? Lick yourself off the floor. Caramel, chocolate, cookie crunch. Take the tour. Two more. Twix mix, give me some more. Stabbing high, then turn around and hear the roar. On the floor, making your girl encore. We crunch, crunch, and blast you. But it's not the last two. With all your tasting, gonna make its way through. Let's do that again. Crunch into a twin. Zorak, you want in on this? Hey, how are you, Ghost? I'm on the phone, that's how. Rude. Okay, put me down for six dozen more. Yeah, I can hold. Where'd you get that sweater? It looks cheap. I hate it. Well then, greetings, I'm Space Ghost. Space Man. Space Ghost. You were a space man who died and became a space I've ghost. I've always been dead, Conan. No one can always be dead, Space Ghost. I was dead long before you were born, Conan. And I'll be dead long before you're dead. Enjoying your houseboat? Mm? Uh, would, would you mind just not bringing that up right now? No! Let's talk about it! Loudly. So that's how you got that houseboat. You sold us out for promotional considerations. And a houseboat. I didn't sell you out the for a house. The in your mind. I also received two cool speakers. What planet are you from? The planet of flavor. Willie. Hey, Willie. Hey, how you doing, Tex? I'm the host of the show. Not the cop. Over here! Look at me! Initiate hunger imagery! Beans. 
Look, when we first talked, we said that you would be running through occasionally with your food friends. That is correct, because we are action heroes, and running is action. Mamas, let your babies grow up to drink Master Shakes. Willie, get on the road again hey, hey, for hey, a kid's hey. bath meal. This is outside the scope of what we talked about. I am always on your mind. The barn is on your mind. Oh, sweet delight. Meatwad has spoken again. Yes, keep chanting that ad line, Meatwad. How about this one? Reward yourself by eating a wad of decayed meat with an oasis of greasy honey mustard filling lard. Will you just oh. shut up for three seconds? Yes, silence is golden. Like my delicious golden fries. They come with a kid's baffler meal. Baffle yourself with flavor. Okay, we heard you. <laughs> it's Santa. Christmas isn't about getting into clubs, Zora. Hi, Santa. Did you get my letter? Space Ghost, you've destroyed the Tooth Fairy. Uh-uh. I know when you've been bad and good. And you've been very good. I've been trying to kill her myself for years. <laughs> but why, Santa? Why? So that I could be the Tooth Fairy Mortar? Then Santa could use all the little children's teeth to make bizarre and twisted toys for Santa's own amusement. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the Santa I know. Because I'm not the Santa you know. A bizarre Santa from the Electro Dimension. <laughs> Hey, the Tooth Fairy! Ah, zombie! All right! Hey, I mowed you over! No, Space Ghost, you destroyed a robot built to look like me! Okay. Bizarro Santa has been trying to kill me for years! Ho, 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 cannon bomb! You gonna believe that fairy tale? Trust in me, I'm the good one! No, Space Ghost, I'm the good one! Ho, ho, ho! Silence! Oh, no! Ho, ho! Give me the key! <laughs> I have plans for those teeth. Let me just grab a handful. They belong to me. The clubs. You'll never get into a club. What if I have a date? Give me the damn All right, everybody, just hold on a second. What happened? Behold the woolly panda. It is plump and round. The nearby sound of a throttling chainsaw frightens him. Eek, eek, says the panda. Adult Swim special from John K. Boo Boo runs wild. Your clothes, Yogi, your clothes! Yikes! Next Sunday at 11 on Adult Swim. the chocolate I sent you for Valentine's Day, is it? Oh, huh, look at that. Huh. You never opened it? Oh, my. It's all your fault. Call it Slugfest for a reason. MLB Slugfest 2003 rated everyone who said baseball isn't a contact sport. Hey, Dan, how about that conference call tomorrow? Mm. Just doesn't feel right to me. Whatever happened to FaceTime? Somebody should go to Cleveland. I'll go. 
This wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express. Double points? No. What? That's double... <laughs> That's... I don't... Wow. Okay, I, I... I don't even know where that came from. When I get back from Cleveland, we'll talk. You are a curious young man, and curiosity could have repercussions. But lucky you, you get rewarded with a nice vanilla Coke. The smooth flavor of vanilla, the refreshment of Coke. So intriguing. I'm glad you like it. Jimmy! Reward your curiosity with new vanilla Coke. Only in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. Parents strongly caution the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. <laughs> This is Jellystone Park. This vast and rugged terrain was once a wild and unruly hinterland where forest denizens ran free, unobserved, unordered, going on their bellies across virgin soil. Then man arrived. Structure now regulates the forest, checking nature at its very loins. And one man in particular upholds this order. A man of duty, Ranger Smith. Man, four o'clock every morning. What kind of life is this? Well, I'd better get some grub. What do we got here? Soggy cereal, curdled milk. Great. Sometimes I just don't get it. The life of a forest ranger is glamorous. That's what they told me when I enlisted. Ha! Glamorous. You make the rules. You enforce them. You keep the animals from killing each other. The animals hate you. They grunt behind your back. They stink up government trees. You know, sometimes I think a ranger's only friend is his log cabin. Bones. Wake up and start the day. Well, here we go. Another day of law enforcement. Morning, Mr. Moose. Polish those antlers. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. Don't forget to wash that apple. Gee, it's pretty today. I think maybe I'll institute some new arbitrary rule. Hmm. No drinking from the water fountain? Straighten out the tree roots. Oh, hello, Mrs. Possum. And how are the little ones? You know, I kind of like this job. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting into it. Oh, no! I lost my wallet. Bet some filthy, unshaven thing stole it. Oh, well, would you look at that?
<laughs> I must have dropped it. Hey, you there. Squirrel. Whose nuts are those? Well, mine. I'm gonna store them for the winter. Do you have a license to store those nuts? Uh, I don't think so. And how do I know these are your nuts? Oh, well, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, uh... Just as I thought. Contraband. I'd better confiscate these nuts. Okay, Mac. Nuts in the bag. Have a nice day, Mr. Discipline, sir. Hold on just a minute there. What's in those cheeks? Come on, give. <laughs> Daddy, we're hungry. Yeah, when's dinner? Daddy, bring food? Everybody wants to get away with something. <laughs> so, whose kids are those? Well... They're mine. Okay, funny boy, let me see your marriage license. No marriage license. Let's see. Illegally storing nuts, smuggling nuts in the cheeks, mating without a license. This calls for disciplinary action. Well, I'm going to let you off easy this time. You can keep one of the kids, but from now on, you'll store pickles for the winter. Yogi, there's a man in the shower with us. I know, boob. I don't like it any more than you do. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. The clean bear is a shiny bear. Job, but somebody's got to do it. Man, what a day. I'm pushed. To bed by two, up by four. Good night, log. Cabin. Good night, ranger. Smith. spend hundreds on garden supplies or break your back planting seeds. You need the Instant Flower Garden, a giant 12-foot roll containing all the nutrients and enough premium seeds for a perfect garden. Call now and order your Instant Flower Garden for only $19.99. And as a special bonus, you'll receive eight potting squares, a $10 value absolutely free. Call now and order your Instant Flower Garden. Call 1-800-257-5700. That's 1-800-257-5700. Call now. American, American, God shed His grace on me. On me. And love I good with brotherhood runs from sea to shine. Don't swim.
special from the Dr. Katz guys and the home movie guys. They're the same guys. Dang, what a fight. I had a front row seat and I still don't believe it. I heard the guy's nose break and I was two doors down. Now, I feel worse for the other guy. My wife kicked me in the crotch once. Do you mean your mule? Yeah. What did I say? You said your wife. Did I really? You've been doing that a lot lately. Saddle Rash on Adult Swim Special. Next Sunday at 11 on Adult Swim. Two gunfighters. Slim and Tommy Morgan. Faced off in the street in little old dusty Saddle Rash. Still gives me goosebumps when I talk about it. The morning Slim rode into town, I remember like it was yesterday. My name is Gummy. I was there the day Slim walked into the barber shop and asked for... What did he ask for? How about a shave? Was it directions? No. Was a restaurant recommendation? No. Something about a horse. How'd you lose your arms? In the war? Nope. Oh. What, are two grizzly bears, one on either side? No. Did you sleep on them wrong? Where can a fella get a drink around here? Well, uh, we got a lot of choices here. Over there, that there's Buffalo Burt's Hotel and Casino. Huh? Don't, don't you know Buffalo Burt's second most famous hunter in the West? He killed the last of the buffalo. There's one. One what? A buffalo. What are you, drunk? That ain't no buffalo. That's Inez. Hey, Inez. Well, she's new in town. Yeah. I don't know the other fella. What about Tommy Morgan? Which saloon does he go to? Tommy Morgan. Crappy Joe's, I suppose, but I, but I haven't seen him in town for a long time. Not since the reward went up to $1,000. Well, then, uh, I'll tell you what, old smelly man. Mm -hmm. How about I buy you a drink at Crappy Joe's? Well, uh... Okay, with just one. Yeah, just one. Don't get silly on me. You buy. That's uh, what I said. Oh, you just say that. That's right. I need to get one of those things for my ears. You know? Soap. Crappy Joe's Saloon. It used to be a real dive, but when Crappy Joe bought the place, he did a great job renovating it. He really put a lot of thought into things like lighting and music. Okay, it's piano time. Feng Shui. A lot of mirrors. Bottle of something. Two glasses. That'll be two bits. Uh, bits? Two bits. Bits. Bits of... Uh, half a buck? Oh, 50 cents! 50 cents! 50 cents, uh, 50 cents. So you have to Tommy Morgan, are you? He's, uh, I hear he's hiding up in the hills, you know. I, I think the only time he comes to town these days is when the new Sears catalog comes out. Want a straw? No, thanks. It's getting real loud. Bumming everyone out. Well, we used to see you. Well, there you are. I'll, I'll wait till you finish up. Used to see it more often, but I guess the price on your head will make you a little less inclined toward city living and fine <coughs> dining. I gotta be honest, stranger. You are making me ill. So you're looking to make yourself a thousand dollars, are you? I don't care about the reward. Oh no, of course not. Why would you? It's just money. You don't need that, do you? Nobody does. And you may have no arms, but you got some tongue. That is the most beautiful human organ I have ever seen. Tommy Morgan's hideout was way the hell up in the hills. 
And if you know anything about Tommy Morgan, you know he hated the hills and he hated hiding out. No restaurants, no shopping, no nothing. Just come with us, Tommy. No. Come on. No. You said yourself you're sick of being holed up. So? So come on into town. No. At least come outside. No. Well, we're gonna go into town. What are you guys gonna do? I don't know. Get drunk, pick a fight, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's... What do you want to do? Nothing, nothing. I'm not going. Fine. Fine. Don't go. I won't. I tell you, of all the gangs we've ridden with, this one is the hardest to motivate. I know, man. You know who's it's Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. He's all pissy because now every time he leaves the hideout, someone's trying to turn him in or kill him. <laughs> You know that thing we were doing the other day where one person starts a story and the next guy writes a part and hands it around? Oh, yeah. yeah, what was the name of that game? I told you I don't know the name of that. You asked me that when we were playing. I told you I, I don't have know. You have to have a name, it man. Doesn't, it's a we, game. I just say the game. You know the game. We know how to play. It doesn't matter. That well, let's name it now. It, the story game. Pass the right. story. Change the story, story game. Story pass. Anyway, that was fun. It was. Mm -hmm. And it he was. didn't want to do it. It's true, he refused. It's outlaw stuff, man. Sometimes you gotta do it. Yeah. There's downtime. Yeah. There's hurry up and wait. Yeah. I mean, when you look at wanted, dead, or alive, you can't just see wanted, dead. No, no. You have to see or alive, too. You are so right. I knew those boys were trouble. The greatest penalty of evil doing, namely to grow into the likeness of evil men. That's Plato. He's Greek. What the hell is going on here? I don't know, but it's pretty funny. What are you, buddy? A gun rack? <laughs> now, would you say this fellow is armed? I would. And yet? And yet, he is not armed. Unarmed. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Gunslinger, you gotta agree. It's funny stuff. Oh, look at him. He's trying to think of a comeback. What's he gonna do? Hey, why don't you make fun of our arms? <laughs> yeah, what are you looking at? Our freakish arms? I've got a message for you. Whoa, he speaks. <laughs> what? I said, I've got a message for you. What's the message? Oh, it's under my hat. I don't see where this is going. Lift up my hat. That was a neat trick. I've got a message for you too. Oh, really? Let me guess. It's under your hat. No, uh, it's in my boot, actually. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, it's, uh, it's right here in my boot. So how's this work? I reach for your boot, mm -hmm. and then you kick me in the head. Close, in the crotch. You just better be able to kick me before you, hello, nice work. Here's one to your crotch. Oh! Tell Tommy Morgan, I wanna see him. That was about the most amazing thing I ever seen. He kicked like a ballerina, a really violent ballerina. You know, like a one that will kill you. I heard the guy's nose break and I was two doors down. Now I feel worse for the other guy. My wife kicked me in the crotch once. Do you mean your mule? Yeah. What did I say? You said your wife. Did I really? You've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, well. I've been around the mule a lot lately. <laughs> hey, I'll see if uh, I can get Slim to come over to your shop a little later. Uh, how'd you like to sell him some boots? Is that his name? Well, that's what I call him. What are you doing, arranging your schedule? Yeah, you know, every time a stranger rides into town, you are not automatically the personal secretary. Oh, boy, here we go again. Sidekick. Man, I hate you guys. <laughs> yeah, I do. Whoops. Whoops. No, no, I said, uh, hoops. I said, hoops. Why? Because it's Yiddish for, um, congratulations. The barber shop was a good place for witty banter. Not the best place to get your hair cut. And it wasn't really a good place for witty banter either. Oh, 
That looks much better. Ah. Oh. oh, hold, hold yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. That's better. Oh, I thought we did this last night. I was so drunk last night, I can't believe you let me near that thing. Oh, man, I did. No, no, ow, ow, no, 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 enough, enough. Come on, let's go get this guy. What about you, Tasty Cleese? You coming? Mm -hmm. All right, well, don't worry. We'll send him your regards. You coming, Tommy? No, you guys go ahead. Come on, it'll be fun. No, I don't feel like it. Do you want us to bring you back anything? No. Nah. What are you going to eat for dinner? Oh, no, I'll find something. Can I bring you back some fruit or something? No. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring you back a melon, honeydew or cantaloupe. Honeydew. Anna Headstrong, the headstrong daughter of Hank Headstrong, the headstrong rancher. Hannah grew up tending to the cuts and bruises of the men that worked on her father's ranch. You've never seen so many self-inflicted cuts and bruises. It was like an epidemic, but fake. Look, Hannah, I grabbed the wrong end of the branding iron last week. These two fingers are fused together. That's nothing, Hannah. Hannah, look at this. Me and my brother got drunk and got into a, a branding fight. Lemon juice will get these off, maybe, right? Don't pay them no mind, Hannah. They're just showing off. I actually need your advice. You think this is infected? Ugh. Hi, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hey, fellas. So what can I do for you today? I need some balm. Some what? Some balm. Oh, balm. Which, uh, which one? Cellar secret. Oh, that's cellar secret. That's good stuff, Hannah. You got to be careful where you put that, though. S stings. <laughs> Oh, no. What's going on? They're here for the gunfighter with no arms. Oh, no, he, he's over there right now. What are you guys talking about? I said the outlaws are here for the gunfighter with no arms. There's a gunfighter in town, and he has no arms. That's the story. Hey, what the hell? Slim had that big fella in a figure four leg lock. Tell Tommy Morgan I'd like to see him. Please. It was so perfect, it was almost erotic. Hannah fell in love with him right then and there, I think. That's the power of that particular move, the figure four. Mr. Slim. Ma'am. What are you doing out here? Oh, just having some quiet time with my horse. The whole situation was becoming really complex. And that's the thing I say when I stop paying attention. But I'm, you know, the narrator, checking in. I have to say, it was around this time that we noticed Buffalo Bert starting to act really strange. Especially around Inez. We didn't know it at the time, but apparently, Inez had a bone to pick. And Buffalo Bert had a Bones. Did I say I was good at narrating? Yeah, they're not all going to be winners. I'm just going to get some clunkers. Thing is, there's just not a huge demand for narrators. Pretty much whoever volunteers. So you're not necessarily going to get good. Sure, yeah, San Francisco, probably great narrators. Chicago, yeah. Plenty to go around. Not here in Saddle Rash, only me. So he's up at the ranch eating steak and eggs every morning getting his strength back. Lucky bastard. I'd get beaten up and let him beat on me all day long if Anna Edstrong would be taking care of me later. Can you trim my nose hair? Absolutely not. How you figure he pulls him guns anyway? It can't be done. Well, maybe he got special bullets. For what? Special bullets? To shoot no-handed. Oh, here we go now. How the hell would special bullets help with that? Magic bullets. Oh, yes. I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure it out. You guys ain't. That lady needs a shave. Which end? I ain't shaving either end of it. Well, I, 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 I think there's something sexy about 
Yeah, uh, looks, looks like a boy with a dress on is what it does. Well, there's something sexy about that. I think, it, you know, there's something wrong, wrong with you, I think, that. Well, I'm there's old. A, I mean, what, well, what do you got, age, what's sexy about? something sexy about everything. I imagine so. You just take yeah. what you can get, right? Well, well, a little bit of hair ain't gonna hurt no one. You may think you're fine, but you're not. Well, I am, all right? I'm completely healthy. You're not. You need at least another week, and I'd like to get some more balm on those cuts. Some what? Some balm. Some balm. Balm. I'm sorry. I've got to get back to town. Ow. Ow. What are you doing? I'm going to knock you out so you can't go into town and get yourself killed. Ow. Stop it. I should take a look at that. Goodbye, Hannah. Ow, damn it. Hannah? Little Bill branded the inside of my lip. He told me to. Did not. You said brand my lip and you pulled your lip down. Well, I didn't think you'd do it. <sighs> she doesn't care. She don't care about you. Brand the inside of my lip again. I'll do it, by God. We had a few drinks when Slim came back to town. Okay. But the whole time I kept thinking that that guy in the poncho looked suspicious. Something about a guy in a poncho. It's trying too hard. Too kitschy. That no arm guy's back into town. Everyone's buying him drinks at Crappy Joe's. You want me and the boys to go get him? No. Oh, oh come on. I, I, I better do it myself. Yes! Can we go with you? No. Oh, oh man. You know what they just got in down to the general store? Cashew nuts. What? Cashew nuts. A whole barrel full of them. All right, get the wagon. Yeah. So, Slim. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad you're back on your feet and all, but, uh... Yeah? Well, if Tommy Morgan comes looking for you, he, he's going to try and kill you. Yep. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, Slim, it, it'll be a gunfight. Probably. Yeah, so uh, you'll have to draw against him. Reckon you're right. Yeah. Draw your guns. Right. And uh, fire them. Correct. All right. Shoot the guns. You know, you got no arms. Say what? I say you got no arms. C'est vrai. C'est vrai. I know I'm stating the obvious. Yes. But, uh, you will definitely have to fire them guns. Fire the guns, yes. Yep. I will have to fire the guns. So, if he asks you to lift up his hat, don't do it. Uh -huh. All right. Also, if he starts kicking, Get out of the way? Yeah, or, or shoot him or something. Okay, thank you. No messages. Huh? If he says anything about messages, disregard it. Yeah. Huh. Tommy Morgan just pulled into town. He put his wagon up at the store, his men are stealing cashew nuts, and he's walking this way. look familiar. Do I know you? <laughs> you remember El Paso? Eight years ago? Hmm. I was there. You remember a kid working in the bank? A kid with the keys to the vault? Yeah. Do you remember what you did? Kid with keys. Not really. You shot him in the arms. Oh, yeah. 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 Well? Well what? <clears throat> that was me. You shot me in the arms. So I've, you know, come for revenge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I did that. That's right. I mean, you have no arms because I shot. That is exactly uh, right. Yes, uh, I had arms. All right. Yeah, you okay. shot me in the arms. Right, I got it now. Lost the arms. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, man. I, I didn't make the connection. But now, yeah. Wow. So what are we doing?
This is, uh, really anticlimactic. We got Tommy Morgan and his gang. Fox. Who knew we had it in us? I guess we were in the moment. You know, adrenaline took over, and we went with it. And we got a thousand dollar reward. But you'd be surprised how little you see. Half goes to taxes, split four ways, I ended up with about 20 bucks. It was also not the last we would see of Tommy Morgan. And when he came back to town, boy, he was pissed off. I still look at that picture and I think, that was nuts. Hey, Doc, that was nice of the marshal to offer to shoot Tommy in the arms for you. Yeah, you should have let him. Seems like if you practice a little more, you'll, you'll get real good at gunfighting. Thanks, but uh, I don't think a guy like me will will ever make a good gunfighter. Wow. Uh, Cause your arms? No, my eyesight. You gonna stop by and see Hannah on your way out? No. No, I, uh, I can't. Why did you Strange that? fella, I that Slim. I was sorry what? to see him go. Forgot your gloves. I love to tell that story, My though. Yes. It has yeah. all the elements of sure? a classic good story. Uh, why don't you describe Gunfighter, no arms, uh, that's a twist, uh, and a love story with a Jewish barber. Anyway, am I, did I just talk through a whole scene? Oh my goodness, gummy, shut up. There he goes. Hey, Inez. Gonna be quiet in town with Slim gone. Tommy gone, Inez gone. It was quiet for a long time. Fig nuts. surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim hair color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which, which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <laughs> new Maxim hair color from Just For Men. They don't like pets, they don't like people, and they don't like you. <laughs> From the producers of Independence Day and Godzilla. What exactly is that? Spider-Man. Eight-Legged Freaks, made at PG-13, starts Friday, July 19th. It's the Summer of Six Flags and the Scooby-Doo Movie in theaters June 14. Get up, get up, get up. Meanwhile, save $7 on tickets to Six Flags get up, get up, get up. when you pick up the new Scooby-Doo Movie soundtrack. Six Flags and Scooby-Doo, so big, so close. She sings these words to me. 
the best time to join America Online. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. Call today and new members get our best offer ever and features you'll only find on AOL. AOL's got something for everybody. You've got mail. Email makes staying in touch effortless. I instant message everybody. It's the fastest way to communicate. Parental controls help keep kids safe. Call one 877 now. Join AOL and get our best offer ever. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Attention swimmers, we've got an all-new Mission Hill. Brand new one. So is my massage class paying off? Do you think I'm ready to go professional? Oh, yeah. I minored in massage at Borchmore. Ooh, can I go next? Sure. Oh, yeah. Ah, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's joshing you, Andy. Premieres next on Adult Swim. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Did you get the birthday check we sent? Yeah, thanks. 300 bucks. That's the best birthday present you ever gave me. Oh, for Pete's sake. The $300 was for Kevin's birthday, for his birthday party. Uh, th th you didn't run out and waste all that money, did you? Uh, no. Of course not. Good. We sent it so you could throw Kevin a party like the ones we used to have back in Briarhurst. Oh, uh, no. I am not going to march around like an idiot firing chocolate-frosted birthday presents at Kevin's pampered ass. Language? Your brother, your <sighs> loving brother, craves consistency. It's his first birthday away from home. And now that he's living with you in some big, strange city, it's more important than ever that he be pampered. Now, you go out and you buy him a cake. Yeah, with chocolate frosting. He's ha happier with chocolate frosting. You invite his little friends, and you make sure today is the best birthday Kevin has ever had. Well, not off to a great start today, but who knows what surprises the big city holds. Ah! Oh, 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 
Hey, you smashed my porch! That is a fine, expensive porch! Pay me! Hey, pay me, yuppie man! Hey, hey, I'm talking to you! <clears throat> Whew, crazy world, huh? Well, don't let it get you down, son. I... Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> And one last announcement today. Happy birthday to honor student Kevin French. I hope everyone will give Kevin a greeting worthy of one of our hardest working pupils. Happy birthday, geek! So now I have to throw that spoiled little creep a party, and I have to pay for it myself. Why does he need a party? Living with us every day is like a party. I know. I mean, what makes him think he's so entitled to the royal treatment? Hear ye, hear ye. King Kevin decrees that all should head to yon refreshment tent for ye ice cream and ye cake, as well as a showing of ye empire strikes back. Yay! Holy crap. And I thought it couldn't get any lamer than last year's Care Bears theme. Break out the Jägermeister, dude. That'll take your mind off it. <laughs> so what time are we meeting Hardwick and Randazzo? They borrowed my fake ID and... Dun, 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 dun. Greetings, royal subjects. Oh, what's going on? May I come in? What's that you're holding, Andy? Get out of my room, D-bag. Kevin, there you are. It's time to cut the cake, sugar bunny. Andy, I need you to set up the slip and slide now. Mom? You drugs smell like? Ugh, dude, I cannot wait to get out of here. <sighs> Relax, dude. Next year you'll be off at Borchmore and you'll never have to live with Kevin again. I'll give Kevin a party, all right. But it'll be on my terms, not his. I think it's time somebody gave Mr. Precious McMollycoddle a harsh lesson in reality. Clean you off, sir? 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 Ah! Oh, why can't things be normal like they were back home? Why does everything here have to be crazy and strange? Lovebirds coming through. <sighs> Kevin, hi. You want to come raid an animal testing lab? Kevin? When we get inside, everyone grab an animal. Poor little thing. No one's ever going to put makeup on you again. Hey there, friend. You're going to have a good home now. No more cruelty, just warm, understanding evenings, listening to NPR, going to folk festivals. <laughs> You listen to me. Everything's going to be okay now. Oh, Natalie, we left one for you. <sighs> Don't feel bad. I mean, I I was always the last picked in kickball myself. Hey there, birthday boy. Look what I've got for you, a little cake. Crappy birthday. Oh, a cake, great. And a present. What's a birthday without a present, huh, Kevin? TV word find. Super TV word find. See, hours of fun. <sighs> great. What's the matter with you? You're not being snotty, you're not threatening to call mom, nothing. I'm sorry. You know, you take a lot of fun out of torturing you when you don't react properly. I know. Uh, all right. What's the matter? It's just that back in Briarhurst, my birthday was the best day of the whole year. But here in the city, everything is different. And my birthday sucks. Look, things change when you get older. You've got to lower your expectations a little. 
like me. Huh? Huh? Hey, what if I promise to throw you a really great party? Would that cheer you up? With a real present and everything? Everything. Thanks, Andy. That means a lot. I... I've never been depressed like this before. Well, welcome to the real world, sucker! <laughs> uh, Posey, we, we, we had a little change of plans. Oh, I'm sorry. A birthday cake, huh? Is your brother gay? Potentially. Hmm. Better play it safe then. See? With this one, you can't tell if it's a man or a woman. Perfect. You know, Kevin's gonna love this. I thought the plan was to torture him. Yeah, well, that didn't work out, so I'm gonna throw him a really great party instead. Okay. I've even got the perfect gift. This new computer game he's been hinting about. You know, it's weird. Seeing him so down really made me feel for the little guy. God, I hope I'm not becoming soft. You are getting him an ass cake. Hmm. You raided an animal lab and came home with a snake? What about a bunny? Hell, I settle for a monkey with a diode in its head. It's just for a few days until I can find someone else to take it. I, I don't like having a snake in the house with a baby. Carlos, you're being bourgeois. Remember we agreed that we weren't going to be typical overprotective parents? Yeah, but I meant for public schools, internet access. Not for boa constrictors. This summer, if it swings like a spider, if it spins like a spider, if it strikes like a spider, it can only be one thing. Spider-Man. From the makers of Independence Day and Godzilla. Oh, my God! Eight-legged freaks. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, July 19th. Snakes are 90% herbivorous. Can I open my eyes now? No, I'm naked. Now, what does that say about you? I, uh... Surprise! Surprise! It's party time, my brother. Party time Cosmopolis style. No balloons, no streamers, no silly themes. No? Why not? Because those are for suburb kids. And you're a city man. And this city's got more fun than you ever dreamed of. <gasps> Did they open a comp USA? Just put your coat on. <coughs> Andy, I really appreciate the effort, but um, I, I should have told you I stink at bowling. Come on, give it a try. I bet you better than you think. <coughs> Hey, Kevin! Hey, everybody! Kevin got a two! Way to go, Devin. Good job. Come on, Kevin. Tenth frame. Bring it on home. Let's see a strike. Oh, now that I've enjoyed a thorough humiliation, would it be okay if we stopped? Sure, buddy. Okay, everyone, dinner time. Kev, you've got nothing to be ashamed of. Now that kid, he should be ashamed. Ugh. Are you sure the baby's okay? Stop worrying. I mean, who's the Jew here? The baby is asleep, safe and sound. If anything happens, we'll hear it on the baby monitor.
It's not burned. It's blackened. What? Anyway, it's too loud to eat. Why don't they turn the music down so people can have a decent conversation? Jeez, Gramps, will you lighten up? Kevin, you're gonna love this. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from Universal Studios Florida, it's the Blues Brothers 2000. Featuring Justin Belushi and Timothy Aykroyd Williams. Those aren't the real Blues Brothers. Yeah, sorry. Dan Aykroyd sends his regrets, and John Belushi's been dead for 15 years. Put your hands together for the man with the plan, the dude with the tube, my officially licensed brother, Jake. <laughs> We're on a mission. From Andy. To wish you, Kevin French, a happy rockin' birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Kevin French, the original Bluesomatic 2000. Happy birthday, dear Kevin! Happy birthday to you! Cougar Geiger? Yeah, that's what you kept saying the first time you got drunk, remember? I thought that was part of our unspoken past. That's why I had them write it down. See, it's supposed to be an ass. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh, yes, it looks very appetizing. This one is from Posey. <sighs> Homeopathic remedy number 51, uh -huh. anti-anxiety. You can take it right now, Kevin. It's very calming. Oh, splendid. Well, at least I know I'm going to get one decent present. So, am I a great brother or what? <sighs> what? What? You got me the Dementoid Expansion Pack! The Expansion Pack, Andy! I need the game! If I don't have the game, what am I supposed to expand upon? Huh. I knew you were incompetent, but I guess I overestimated you. All right, that's it. You know, I busted my ass to throw you a really cool party. I spent 300 bucks of my own money. I dragged you and these losers all over town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all you do is bitch and whine and pick it apart like you were Truman McFreakin' Capote! Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I didn't want this kind of party. Back home... Shut up! I'm out of here. Happy birthday, douchebag. You're not a D-bag, Kevin. Definitely not. Can I borrow your expansion pack? I, I already have Dementoid. That party is officially over. Oh. Hey, too bad you missed the best part of the night. Yes, <laughs> I got up and sang with the band. And Justin Belushi ate half our ass cake. Wow, <laughs> how'd Kevin like that? I don't know, he left right after you did. Really? Kevin? Oh, little Lord Fartleroy, are you back? <laughs> Cold. He hasn't been here for hours. Where is he? We thought he'd be here. Yes, the last thing he said was that he was going home. Home, huh? are freezing. I think your skin condition is coming back. Hmm. Can you believe someone left these brownies on the subway? Uh, 
<laughs> Can you believe someone left these brownies on the subway? Stop that snake! The one that sounds like a baby? Make enough boots for my whole family. <laughs> Give me back my baby! What the hell? <laughs> it's just the monitor. Oh, I knew that wasn't an evil snake. Yes, you can tell from his eyes that he has a good heart. He and... did look pretty friendly. Hey! Will somebody help me off this flagpole? Um, hey, where is the snake? <laughs> Looks like we have a new pet. Yeah, okay. After all that time in the lab, I guess he could use a little love. You have no idea the kind of cruelty these animals endure. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Home? Yeah. Birthday cake? I got it at the same supermarket Mom and Dad always used to get mine. Super Pig on FDR Parkway. It's Ronald Reagan Parkway now. <sighs> this cake isn't as good as I remember. Nothing out here is as good as I remember. Not even home. Well, you've got a new home now anyway. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Cake? Sure. How about something to wash it down with? <laughs> oh, you kept alcohol in your room? Among other things. <sighs> Drinking liquor in the house, eh? <laughs> what would mom and dad say? Who cares? They're not around to say anything. times did dad bust me for this, huh? No TV for a week, young man. I'm peeing in the shower. Hey, everybody, I'm peeing in the shower. What next? Shall we slam the door, waste water, put our feet on the coffee table? Small potatoes, my friend. I want you to pick the one thing you would never, ever do in this house when Mom and Dad were here. Masturbation excluded, because I already know you're a pro. Hmm. Well, there is one thing. Uh, are you sure? All right. Here goes. <gasps> Bite me, Mother! Please! Oh, God. I knew this was a bad idea. Please don't call our parents. I'll clean the shower. I'll pay the electric bill. I didn't mean to swear. He made me do it. French? Hardwick? Rendazzo? Is that you? Dude! Yeah, what are you dudes doing here? <laughs> We're sort of having a party. What are you guys doing? Well, the neighbors complained about noise coming from this house. But screw them, we love to party! <laughs> yeah, the shift goes a lot faster when you're drunk, eh? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna get on the horn and round up some supplies. Yeah, and get the blender from the trunk! <laughs> Two birthday parties in one night. Think you can handle it? Mom and Dad never did that for me. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Bager Biger's back. Mr. Bager Biger? Nothing. It's a stupid story. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> sure you do. See, this dude was totally out of control. One night, he drank so much, he could hardly speak. He started flipping around on the floor like a fish, man. He crawled over, started eating out in the dog bowl, and he burped. He's like, uh, Bager Biger, Bager Biger. And the name's just kind of stuck, you know?
A Bill Oakley, Josh Weinstein production. Geico has great service. Geico has great service. Our claim representatives, that's right. Are available 24 hours a day. You have a very commercial look. Next, please. Well, hello. Oh, great. A talking gecko. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Summer's here and time for fun with Mediacom Digital Cable. More channels, the hottest movies, CD quality sounds, and more. Call now and save 50% on your first month of any digital package. You can also save on super fast internet service from Mediacom Online. So, what are you waiting for? Find out more in this feature packed summer guide to family entertainment coming your way soon. Heat up your summer with the best in home entertainment and information from Mediacom. Perverted filth. <laughs> uh, one adult, please, <clears throat> for the X rated movie. <laughs> I don't think I can walk anymore, Joe. I keep falling down. <laughs> uh, when is the filth going to start? Uh, yes. I'd like a bucket of cop porn. Uh, no, I, never mind. Just some good in panties. Uh, wait! Uh, no, I, uh, uh, Wally! Oh, God, my next-door neighbor! Please don't tell! I came in here by mistake. I didn't know. Oh, my life is over! All because I wanted to see... Midnight Cowboy, the Academy Award winner for Best Picture of 1970? Uh, yes! I mean, no! I mean... How could a porno movie win an Oscar? Porno movie? Oh, back in the 60s, they gave the X to serious films meant for adults. Hmm. Most of them wouldn't rate a PG-13 these days. Have ah, mercy how times do change. You see, we're a revival theater, and I'm the projectionist here. We show the classics of world cinema. Care to come take a look? That cowboy looks familiar. Wasn't he an anaconda? That's John Voight, back before he started to look like a raspberry. And you see that fellow? That's Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Oh, right, the old guy from Sphere. Sphere was excellent, I thought. Michael Crichton is a genius. Did you know he wrote Twister? Right. Oh. Just watch the picture, son. That was terrific. And when Ratso died at the end, it was so sad. But a different kind of sad than when Bruce Willis died at the end of Armageddon. Because this film was a personal vision, not a marketing machine like the pictures these days. Ratso Rizzo's not the kind of character that looks good on Taco Bell cups. Well, there's Gus. Hey, Kevin. 
Come on, Slowpoke. I'm starving for dinner already. Oh, Gus, you own a restaurant. You are standing in front of a restaurant. You... I'll see you later, Kevin. That's right. I've been slaving over a hot stove yes, all day. Huh? Bring it in a bag. That's huh? what I do. Bring oh, your lunch in I a bag. Lunch in a bag. And people will laugh at me. Yeah, that... So Wally's an expert in lace cinema, eh? Go figure. You didn't know? I can't believe you've been Gus and Wally's neighbors all this time, and you barely know anything about them. Not true. I know they wake up at 8 o'clock every morning, Wally brews coffee while Gus reads the funnies to him. Isn't it sweet? And then they shower together and sing college fight songs. Then they either argue or have gay sex, and then it's off to work. Tiedlichen hat den Fru betraget dig, Avokat Egermann. Stupid black thing. When are we gonna fight some aliens? Whose baby is that? What's going on? I... I understand. Wally, you've opened my eyes to a whole new world. And I bet Werner Herzog expert looks great on a college application, too. Oh, Kevin, you're like the son God didn't want me to have. So, what's coming this month? John Cassavetes, some Tarkovsky, the man from Pluto, the lost classic from Walter L. Ford. Hey, this spaceman looks like Gus. Hey, Kevin, a boy your age shouldn't spend all his time at the movies, but why don't you go outside and play some hopscotch or something? You can come back here again in uh, two weeks or so. There's a good lad. So, anything good this month? And by good, I mean something with the word vixen or blood sucking in the title. <laughs> hey, guys, this will crack you up. This space guy is a spitting image of you. Holy hogs brains. That is me. That's from when I was in this picture once that Wally made. The classic director, Walter L. Ford, is Wally? Our Wally? Well, come on, what's the movie like? Uh, I never seen it. You see, there was only one copy, but Wally said it fell off the side of a boat and got eaten by a shark. But, Gus, it's playing next week at the Hyperion. We can all go see it. Hey, Wally, they found our movie. Ain't that great? Why, yes, Gus, that's wonderful. Uh... Ow. I don't know. I guess they caught the shark or something. Wow. I wonder how many other great films were eaten by sharks. Wally, I can't believe you never told me you directed a movie. I sure hope we can see it together when it plays next week. No, I won't. I, I can't. I'm uh, having an operation that day, and I won't be able to talk about film for several months afterward. <laughs> And the movie is by Walter L. Ford? Ah, uh, yeah. Look in our auteurs section. Ah! Oh, I can't believe how hard it is to get information about Wally's film, especially from Wally. Kevin, there's only one guy in town who can help you with this. Brace yourself. I'm taking you to see the Beardo. You guys want to come? Hi, Terry. Hey, Ted. What's going on? You know, Andy, you still owe us a couple of overdue movies. Yeah, Women's Prison Slumber Party 2 and Escape from Chinese Women's Prison. What? 
You know, the best of the bunch is Hell Island for stewardesses. It's got June Lockhart as the warden. Oh, please! June Lockhart did not play the warden, you moron! She played a government agent who came to the island to investigate the warden's suspicious activities. I swear I employ idiots in my store. Hi, Beardo. This is just my little brother. He's a movie nut like you. Uh, yes, but I'm only interested in the, uh, classics. <laughs> I came to ask about a classic non-perverted film, The Man from Pluto by Walter L. Ford. <sighs> the Man from Pluto. Of course! The original print has been lost for years. A classic if there ever was one. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I don't want to miss a second of Wally's big premiere. You've been working really hard on this, Kevin. You and Wally must be pretty good friends. Well, we have been going to a lot of X-rated movies together. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> we found the man from Pluto and the man from Mexico, but we can't find Wally anywhere. Found him. Mm, it's awfully crowded for such an obscure film. How did they all know? Mm. Pluto, lonely Pluto, land of ice. A snowy world beyond the stars. Pluto's not beyond the stars. But what if this frozen world got blown to bits? Blown up by a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Would we ever then dare to face the anger of the man from Pluto? <laughs> sure is scary fishing at night like this, eh, Bill? You said it, Raymond. <laughs> Is this movie insane, or is it me? Maybe somebody put drugs in our popcorn. Mm. <laughs> All them nuclear bombs have been fired, General, just like you asked. Did you shoot them at Pluto to test our new devices? Mm, you bet I did. Sure seemed like an awful waste, though. Blowing up Pluto, a planet that never hurt nobody. Well, I sure hope no one lived there. You can say that again. <laughs> the man from Pluto is heading south. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Oh, no. What have I done? This here is a map of space. And this here planet is Pluto. Hmm. Do you think that's where the man from Pluto is from? Could be. And now I have no choice but to kill him. Him, who never meant us guys no harm at all. Your weapons is like toys. Look it, his light is lighting up. He must be mad or something. I will blast you all. Oh, yeah. But first, I will fly to Washington to talk to your leaders. Come there laughing at me, Wally. You're supposed to be scared. That's it, love. We're going. Wally, I'm sorry. I. You just didn't get it, did you? 
Did you ever wonder why I didn't want to talk about the movie? No, you had to humiliate me in front of a crowd. Come on, Gus. Uh, I ain't going in just yet. I need some time alone to think. Look, just so you know, when I come home, I'm going to be very drunk and very dirty. Excuse me, fellas. Wally, please. I was trying to help you. Just don't talk to me, Kevin. Don't ever talk to me again. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? Shh. You don't want to wake up Gus. He came in here last night by mistake. Wally will never speak to me again. That's not true. He's a big boy. He'll get over it. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how amazingly bad it was. Yes, I, I felt amazement at the badness. Okay, who's been testing their nuclear weapons on Pluto again? At least now it is done with. Mm -hmm. Today I can return to obscurity with some nice, quiet Peckinpah films. Oh dear. Jim, please, where did you put my fish? Stop calling me Jim. Can't you see I'm an angry spaceman? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we were, uh... Wally, I respect you too much to lie to you. Thank you, Andy. It really is quite a god-awful picture, isn't it? No, no, it's just... Yes, mm -hmm. it's the worst movie of all time. So what happened? I mean, why did you make a thing like that? I've been asking myself that all day. See, back in 1958, my dreams were in Hollywood, California. I was a first unit cinematographer working under Otto Preminger. It was a fine job, but I wanted to direct. Kirk, that was swell. I think we got it. Oh, kid, there you are. I just had lunch with Jack Warner, and he wants you to make a picture with two hot new stars, Charlton Hestopoulos and Paul McNewman. Hestopoulos? McNewman? Those aren't exactly movie star names. Don't like the names? We'll change them. You got it. Point is, Jack will shoot anything you want. You got a script? My script was called They Come From The Stars, and it was my dream project, an allegory about Cold War politics. People of Earth, I come in peace as an ambassador from the Galactic Federation. He's lying! I say, blast him! And cut! Reset for the big showdown! Everything was going swell, but there was one thing I hadn't counted on. Uh, Mr. Langford, where you want me with this? Oh, where wouldn't I want you with that? <laughs> he wasn't as handsome as Charlton Hestopolis, granted, but to me, he was more glorious than all the Paul McNewmans of the world combined. <laughs> Everything would have been fine if I could have kept my work life separate from Gus, but I was a young fool in love. We have a casting change. The visitor from space will be played by the star of tomorrow. Give a hand to Mr. Gus Dunch. Hiya. Oh, come on. Whatever that guy did to get that part, I can do better. See ya. Kid, what the hell are you doing? Why, the studio will have your head on a pike. Huh. That was the first time in history that an agent told the truth. People of Earth, I greet you from the Galactic Federation. <laughs> Walter, I admire your picture, I do. But really, I simply can't tolerate bad acting. It's either me or that damn dirty ape. Hmm, I like the sound of that. Um, With my other star gone, the financing collapsed. I had to shoot in cheaper digs across town, and I made more casting changes. Well, we'll make this work somehow. Action! For eons, we have observed you. Wally, I can't say this stuff. Yeah, it's too hard. Well, we'll just have to change the story and rewrite the script. I will blast you with this here ray. Wally, am I supposed to be mad or not? 
He always looks mad. You can never tell the difference. We'll put a light bulb on his chest. Then when it lights up, we'll know he's mad. Gus! He just shot you! Hey, your bulb is on! You're angry! Oh, yeah? <laughs> lot of things. Very dangerous things. Stand so, what do you think? Kid, I'll give it to you straight. You're through. We got some money by signing away the drive-in rights, and we left town that same night. We used the money to buy Gus a diner, and that's been our life ever since. Oh. But you know, I'm not sorry about a thing. I love Gus, and he loves me, and I would do it all again in a heartbeat. Well, I better get to work. After all, laughable, pathetic movies don't just project themselves. Oh, snap! Check it, Holmes! I hope you know what you're doing! Oh, snap! Hey, Sourpuss. What the hell is this crap? It's an action comedy. Uh, look, they're running away from a fireball. What happened to Hitchcock and Tati? After what I did to Wally, I don't deserve to see good movies. Kevin, a very good friend of yours is being mocked right now. So you can sit here moping, or you can go help him out. Either way, stop hogging the TV. <laughs> oh, look at that. The squad cars are going backwards. Lordy, what was I thinking? Maybe you were thinking about how far you'd go for Gus. You're the one who taught me that all great movies have a personal vision. Wally, this whole movie is your valentine to Gus. It couldn't be any more personal. Oh, that still doesn't make it great. I'm not so sure. must get blasted before you will learn. Nuclear weapons is wrong-hearted. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't laughed this hard in years. When I get home, I'm flushing all my Prozac down the sink. The guy who found this movie deserves a medal. Found it? How about the guy who made it? <laughs> oh, 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 brother. That was quite the surprising evening. Thank you, Kevin. I owe you one. So, you're not mad at me anymore? Are we still friends? Sure. We're as close as an elderly gay man and a straight teenage boy can be. Well, good night. I'm home, love. Hmm, what's this? Come to the bedroom and see what I found. Love, Gus. What the... Will you look at that? Oh, Gus. Mm. Bill Oakley, Josh Weinstein production. Ah! What's it like to crunch into a twin? Bring Bring it. It. Lick yourself off the floor. Caramel, chocolate, cookie crunch, take the tour. Two more. Switch, mix, give me some more. Stabbing high, the turn around and hear the roar. On the sore, making your girl encore. Let's do that again. Crunch into a twist. Hey, Dan, how about that conference call tomorrow? Yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me. Whatever happened to FaceTime? Somebody should go to Cleveland. I'll go. 
This wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express. Double points? No. What? That's double... <laughs> That's... I don't... Wow. Okay, I, I... I don't even know where that came from. When I get back in Cleveland, we'll talk. This Wednesday, they're back Yay! with new partners. I just walked in to find you here. Frank! And a whole new adventure. Ah! Men in Black 2. Seen any aliens? <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary. Rated PG-13 <laughs> opens Wednesday. Every Egg McMuffin starts with a grade A quality egg and ends with a smile. A lot can be said about the fact we only use 100% pure beef in our burgers. Usually, a mouthful. Take me out to the we call it Slugfest for a reason. MLB Slugfest 2003 rated everyone who said baseball isn't a contact sport. Then, all right. I said I didn't want to carry those flame potions. Come on, guys. Let's just calm it down. This ain't gonna help us save that princess chick. Yeah! Miscreants, you'll never rescue Princess Tiffany. So says Lord Atrocity. Guys, he's got your unfair mate and shiver me timbers is that one stacked? Fear not, my fine busty lass. Evil shall not triumph this day. Loyal minions, attack! Uh, who? You, you idiots! You're our loyal minions! So start attacking! Ah! Nice one, Josh. You just got our loyal minions killed, you moron. Me? You're the one who sent them to their doom. I just motivated them. Yo, guys! Shouldn't we be rescuing yon distressed damsel? How would you like me to stick with my plus one axe where the sun doth not shine? Try it, troll bait. You'll be swimming with the silkies. Ah, to helleth with this. Forsooth, surely thou art not attempting to lay at your midgety hands upon the likes of Lord Atrocity. Yes, I art so attempting to lay at my midgety hands on Lord Atrocity. So have at thee, you cheap Skeletor rip <sighs> <laughs> oh crap, not a freeze spell. I hate freeze spells. Wait, I have an anti-freeze potion. Well, get it. Um, it froze. Oh, you utter waste. <laughs> no, no. It's not fair. I can't die. It's not fair. That wasn't fair. Josh's fat stupidity got me killed. I should be resurrected. I can't do that, Bill. You're the dungeon master, Jerry. You can do anything. Now bring me back to life or I'll kill you. If you resurrect him, you gotta resurrect me. Me too. Oh, please. Oh, come hey, on. Hey, wait. Hey, you don't want to die. Hey, what the hell is going on down there? Uh, nothing, Mom. Nothing? You call medieval life and death nothing? I'm trying to sleep. Tell your little freak friends to shut the hell up or get the hell out. Okay, Mom, I will. Good night. Nice going, Josh. Me? You started it. Like hell I did. Like hell you did it! Big fat bantha butt! Greasy little gourd spore!
Okay, are we all done with the War of the Gargantuous bit? Then, I now call this meeting of the Eltingville Comic Book, Science Fiction, Horror, Fantasy, and Role Playing Club officially to order. We'll start with you, Jer. Beedy, beedy, beedy. Okay, Buck. Well, I collected all 300 letters we wrote under assumed names to Paramount to make a Captain Sulu show. All we need now is the 99 bucks postage, and we'll show them Trek fans mean business. Good work, Jer. Pete? Yeah, well, I finally got my thing with Two Heads Bootleg Resin Kit, and I built it up last night during Sliders. And, like, I did a real good job on Rosie Greer's head. But Ray Milan's head kind of looks like a potato or a yam or something. So I'm thinking of putting it on eBay to see if I get back some of the 70 bucks I paid for it. Okay. Josh and Stein? Well, I just got this video in the mail today. A hot little fan-made number called Sexy Sirens of Sci-Fi and Horror Revealed. <laughs> Volume 10. Two hours of film clips featuring scream queens, B-movie starlets, and even some real actresses in movies where they're topless or worse. Beedy, beedy, beedy. Hubba, hubba, buck. Check it out. They got Callisto, Tasha Yar, and half the cast of Twitter. And peaks. Tasha, you naked? Oh man, that's gotta be against the Prime Directive. Let's watch it. Hold on, I haven't gone yet. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I regret to report that my latest attempt to make contact with Gene Roddenberry's spirit has met with failure. Now let's go watch that video. Come on, I can't. Ugh, stupid. Bill, your VCR better not eat my tape. Why, you saving it for dinner? Everything's fine, shut up! Josh, you're blocking the screen. He's blocking the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, goofballs. Maybe I'll just take my tape and leave. Belay that. We have video. Tushy, you're naked! That's the Hair Bear Bunch! <laughs> That's it! I'm gonna rip your bitty bitty hands off! Help! I'm blind! Jerry, you fool! That stuff's worth more than your mother! You, I never want to speak to again. That goes double for me. Everything goes double for you, Jabber Jaws. Ah, uh, who needs them? We're still on for the movies tomorrow, right? You know what this means, don't you? This means the end of the Eltingville Club. Hey, these Doritos are still good. Don't swim special. Hey, hey, David Cross, out of the water. Now. <laughs> That's so awesome you have a talking dog. Hey, Scooby, say, David Cross. Come on, boy. David Cross. <laughs> Go ahead, Scoob. Raven Ross. Raven Ross. He said Raven Ross. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Raven Rossy Roo. Night of the Living Do, an Adult Swim special. Sunday at 11, an Adult Swim. Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup, three names, three girls, three days till their movie opens. Oh, and three tickets. One for me, my mom, and dad. We'll be there. Will you? Be there. The Powerpuff Girls movie. Only in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. You've seen it, haven't you? Good luck. On July 12th. How did it go from one to a million in less than a year? Only one species one up. will survive. Shoot, shoot. Matthew McConaughey, Christian Bale, Reign of Fire. Rated PG-13. Starts July 12th. Starting, uh, Saturday, my crew and I are investigating the disappearance of several Federation Starship's crews, all seemingly linked to a mysterious asteroid in the Dewey Decimal System. Captain Dickey, we're approaching that asteroid thing. Thank you, Ensign Cena. 
Ensign Buffy, I have a cocktail party. Meet me in the transporter room. But, sir, don't you mean a landing party? You're adorable, Ensign. Meet me at my quarters at 0600 for a phase one search. Everyone set? <laughs> Ensign Wonder Woman, five to beam down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's get to the bottom of this quickly. I have maneuvers at 0600. This place, it seems so familiar, but why? Where have I encountered it before? Steady, asteroid. Steady as she goes. I know where I am, but it can't be. It can't be. No! Get up, you sissy, or I'll break your arm. Get up, you sissy, or I'll break. <sighs> What's the deal? I thought you weren't talking to Jazilla no more. Yeah, well, I had this, like, freaky premonition kind of thing last night that kind of made me realize that for the sake of the club and our friendship and all, I should patch things up with the big, fat, stupid load. Plus, I was afraid I wouldn't get back the Doctor Who DVD I lent him last week. Okay, so the plan is we watch the Jaws ripoff first, then sneak into the Alien ripoff, and then sneak into the Halloween ripoff. Elding Bill Club, go! One ticket, one movie. <laughs> Man, that was just butt. Yeah, and just when the female mating ritual scene was starting. Well, they can throw us out of the movies, but they can't break us. Because we're better than them. The jocks, the norms, the unimaginative pods. That's why we have to stick together. So let's get out there and make the most of the day in the mighty Eltingville Manor. <laughs> What a great day! So where to now, guys? Where else? Well, here we are, men. I give you our local comic book shop. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please, 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 please. Ah, great. Will it be to want to be? Why can't somebody just that put that little geek out of our misery? Back back. Ow! It's all right. Oh, I I'm okay. Hey. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Hurry. Oh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, got it. Oh, got, got, it. It. Oh, got it. Got that got too. It. Oh, got it. Man, what a rip. Thanks for nothing, Will. <laughs> I tell you, we can't catch a break. Hello? Somebody? Dude, Pokemon stinks! It's way over! You mock the power of the Pokemon? Oh, don't make me get Pikachu on your ass! Of course they're Hulk stronger than Superman. The madder the Hulk gets, the stronger he gets. Superman never gets mad. So I say, it's not Frankenstein, you moron. It's Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> oh, by Cromlin, you sure showed him. Eh, Battle Broad was a lot better when she had the Battle Broad Brigade. More battles, more broads. Hey, guys, what's up? You seen the latest spawn? It's really sweet. See, Satan tries to send spawn to Hades, hey, but spawn hey, resists with all his superior strength. I ain't jaw. If you didn't work here, I'd plug that leaky dike of yours with my fist, but good. What can I say? I'm filled with the juices of life! Well, keep your damn juices inside already! Neptune's beard! I'm drenched! Aquaman doesn't need this much water. 
Josh? Hey, Josh? What, did he poison you? No. It can't be. But it is. You like that, huh? We just got him in today. Never removed from box. It's so beyond mint, it's virginal. Wow. An original Kenner 12-inch Boba Fett in the Star Wars box. Wookie scalps and all. It's the stuff that dreams are made of. How much, Joe? Just tell me how much. Hey, no fair, Bill. I saw him first. I'm asking how much. You already got Han Solo and Chewbacca. Let me get somebody, you big greedo, you. But, Bill, if I get Boba Fett, he can bounty hunt my other guys. They can fight. How much? Rip them slobs off. Two hundred bucks. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Please. You could get 250 off these suckers. Easy. 300. I'll take it! Come on, Bill. I deserve it. When I saw Boba Fett, I got so excited I almost soiled myself. I said almost. Well, forget it, Josh. He's mine. You leave me no choice, Bill. I challenge you to a trivia off. Trivia off! Trivia off! Trivia off! What do you say, Bill? A trivia off? Winner takes Fett? Bring it on, Fat Boy! Boba Fett is as good as on my shelf! I got a bad feeling about this buck. Now that I'm living closer, we're going to spend a lot more time together. Will I see you next weekend? Uh, no, next weekend I'm in Dallas. All new home movies, next Sunday at 10 on Adult Swim. Every Saturday night. Six cartoons. Excellent. Three premieres. I'm going to kick your ass! Three hours. Let's go! Only for grown-ups. What shall we do? Adult Swim, premiering Saturday, February 23rd at 11. Keep those eyes open. Put the kids to bed and get ready to get down. Get down! Slugfest for a reason. MLB Slugfest 2003 rated everyone who said baseball isn't a contact sport. Hey, how's it going? Need a ride? No, I need to make a call. Well, if you're going to make a click call, dial it in the center with 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. It's free for you, cheap for them. Cool. Watch this one-handed. <laughs> Extreme! Save on every call. Use 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. was possibly the finest rock and roll show I have ever seen. I smell world tour! Wow. You mean the whole world? Yet. You're not Gene. You're not Paul. You're... You guys aren't Kiss? No. But we did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> stay smart. Stay at a Holiday Inn Express. It's the Summer of Six Flags and the Scooby-Doo Movie in theaters June 14. Get up, get up, get up. Meanwhile, save $7 on tickets to Six Flags get up, get up, get up. when you pick up the new Scooby-Doo Movie soundtrack. Get up, get up, get up, and I'm gonna pick you, pick you Six Flags and Scooby-Doo, so big, so close. She sings these words to me, she sings these words to me. All right, no, no tea parties, no tea parties. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Come on, grow up. Okay, guys, you know the rules. One question at a time, 30 seconds to answer, no hitting, no spitting, and no stupid crap like, what's Lucy Lawless's bra size? But I knew that one. As do all sad boys, Josh. Bill, you stats and skinny challenged. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, what's Wedge's last name in Star Wars? 
get serious, Bill. What was I, cloned yesterday? You think I just landed on this planet? No, because the impact would have killed us all. I'm just warming up, okay? Now answer the damn question. Antilles, name the theme park in Westworld. Ha! Delos, who came up with the Silver Surfer? Duh, Jack Kirby, King of Comics, who are the lizard men on Land of the Lost? Everyone knows that, you idiot. The Slee Stack named three kinds of kryptonite. Green, red, and gold. What rock star played on the Star Wars Christmas album? John Bon Jovi, named two songs off it. R2-D2, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And what do you get a Wookiee for Christmas when he already has a comb? <laughs> Who was Olive Oil's brother? Castor Oil. What Digimon digivolves into a Kakumon? Gumamon. Which Transformer transforms into a VW Beetle? Bumblebee. What wiped out the Triffids? The movie or the book? The movie. Seawater. Who played Commander Elliot in the green slime? Richard Jekyll. What was Galactica 80's time slot? Overruled. Come on, Bill. I'll take it. ABC Sunday 7 Ha! Name the Impossibles, jerky. Fluid Man, Coil Man, Multi Man. Who are the Ents? The Trees from Lord of the Rings. What year did Gerald McBoy boy win an Oscar? 1951. What's Cleepa? A Vulcan term of refusal. Who scored Jason and the Argonauts? Bernard Herman. Who played False Face on Batman? Malachi Throne! H hey, I, I got a good one. <clears throat> Who played the Joker? Spaceship from Forbidden Planet. Space Cruiser C-57D. Who designed Space Ghost? Alex Stoth. What year did Soil and Greed take place? 2022. Co-feature with I Eat Your Skin. I Drink Your Blood. Tintin Star. Snowy and in threat. This is incredible. How long can they keep this up? Only the Shadow knows. John Pertwee. Who created Felix the Cat? Otto Mesmer. Who took the credit? Pat Sullivan. Creature from this island Earth. The Metaluna Mutant. Alien sidekick from Far Out Space Nut. Hawk. Ship's weapon on star blazers. Wave motion gun. What issue of Dynamite had a Star Wars cover? Number 63. What Trek episode was started at 3045.6? Arena. Name three actors who played Blofeld. Tully Savalas, Donald Pleasance, Charles Gray. What was number six's car license plate on The Prisoner? Car 120C. Who flew Thunderbird 3? Alec Tracy. What magazine did Electra Woman and Dinah Girl work for? Newsmaker. First monster that Ultraman fought. Bibbler. What was Penguin's full name? Oswald C. Cobblepot, who directed the incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. Hey, Dennis Steckler! John Steed's original partner. Dr. David Keel, what's a glade? The weapon from Kroll. How many brains does a Cylon commander have? Three, what was the sequel to Blackula? Scream, Blackula, scream. Where was Dawn of the Dead Bill? Pittsburgh, which Friday the 13th had Jason first wear a hockey Part mask? Part three, named Thunder the Barbarian's ally. Ariel and Oofa the Moth, what was the original release title of Dr. Butcher M.D.? Queen of the Cannibals. Um, uh... You look tired, William. Care to concede? Concede this, you! ECW! ECW! Hey, hey, settle this like men. Bill, next question. Um, uh, who says beady, beady, beady? Jerry! I, I mean Twinkie! Too late! Too late! You lose! You lose! <laughs> Tough luck, Josh. But I knew it! You all know I knew it! You're all against me, all of you! You anti-Semite! I ain't no anti-Semite. I got every Spielberg movie on tape. Josh, don't be a sore loser. I'm not a loser! You hear me? And this isn't over! Joe, do you hold items for customers? Uh, are you kidding? This ain't no storage space. Bill, do you have $300 on you? Are you stupid? You know I don't. Aha! Then I'm going home to get the money for my Boba Fett! Aha! His Boba Fett? Not if I get the money first! Suddenly, I know what pity is. Give it up, Pork Barrel. You'll never make it. Oh, yeah? Well, then I'll see you in hell.
I found mom's checkbook! Die, Josh, die! Ah! Joshua, have you seen my pocketbook? Not me, Ma! Never heard of it! I'm coming, Boba Fett! You play a good game, boy, but now the game is over! Fett is mine! Fooey! <gasps> It's obvious Boba Fett's dead, Pete. The Sarlacc belched. It ate him. Show me the body. No body, no death. Just like Freddy Krueger, Dr. Doom. <laughs> Get out of my way! I can't! I'm stuck in your fat! <laughs> Look, Joe, a check with your name on it. What am I, a bank? I don't take checks. Aha! Victory is mine! Credit cards, Joe! Credit cards! Take your pick! They're all good! I don't take credit cards, neither. What are you, a commie? Everyone takes credit cards. You have to take those cards, Joe. You have to! Because I'm taking Boba Fett! Get your damn dirty paws off of him, you son of a... <laughs> <gasps> but, but he's no good to me dead. And you're no good to me alive. I can't believe you broke your Boba Fett. Not me. You broke your Boba Fett. You did. You did. You did. Hey! Oh. You both broke it, and you're both gonna pay for it. Please, Bill, I'm begging you. Give me the head. Say goodbye, Josh. You'll never lay your sandwormy little hands on it. Wait! Bill! Bill! Come back! I'll pay the rest of the money, Bill! Any kind of money! Sick money, even! Bill! Well, if Boba Fett wasn't dead before, he sure as hell is now. Oh my gosh! Is this the end of the Elting Bill Club? <laughs> New characters, new interactions. Brace yourself. The Sims are on vacation. Rated T for teen. There is a place where nothing you do is ordinary. Even when all you're doing is pumping gas. When you cross into the blue, everything is different and important. Especially you. Now is the best time to join America Online. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. Call today and new members get our best offer ever. And features you'll only find on AOL. No credit card needed to get started. You've got mail. Email makes staying in touch effortless. I instant message everybody. It's the fastest way to communicate. Parental controls help keep kids safe. Call 1-877-265-0200 now. And new members get 1,000 hours free for 45 days. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Get out of these clothes and into my jammies. 
Yeah, me too. Huh? Night of the Living Dew, next on Adult Swim. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need some help from you now. Come on, Scooby Doo, I see you. Pretending you got a sliver. Today, the game meets Gary Coleman, David Cross, and Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. I can't wait to get to the big Halloween movie festival. And I can't wait to eat an extra double large popcorn, super size soda, and jumbo chocolate bar. Me too. You can't eat that. Chocolate is poison for dogs. Uh -oh. Who's that on the side of the road? It's the famous Gary Coleman. Larry! Hey, gang, can you give me a lift? Sure, hop in. Sweet van. Thanks. So, Gary, tell us what it's like being a famous... Uh-oh, no time for stories now. Looks like we're running out of gas. Oh, look, an old abandoned amusement park. Let's pull over and check it out. Don't worry, gang, I got you covered. Where did that... Back in a gif. Fred, it's Gary Coleman. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Velma, Velma, Gary Coleman. Thanks a lot. Hey, no problem. I think the last thing we want to do on Halloween is get caught in some spooky old amusement park. Uh, right. Thanks, Gary. I wonder if there are any other creepy places around here. Look, gang, a creepy steamship. Uh oh, flat tire. Oh, we'd better stop for the night. You don't have a spare. Afraid not. Well, today's your lucky day. Well, the world won't move to the beat of my phone run. What might be right for you? Wait, I'll be right for Okay, we're all set. Gee, we just might arrive safely at the Halloween movie festival after all. Look, a spooky old castle. Let's see the famous Gary Coleman fix that. Come on, gang, the castle's this way. I don't know, this is a good idea. Look at those open graves. Yeah, graves. Like you said, it's Scoob and Gary Coleman. Castle for sale, price reduced, spacious, convenient to shopping, come up graves, swamp adjacent. I think we might have another real estate mystery on our hands. But how are we supposed to get into the castle with that shark-infested moat around it? And ugly sharks at that. <laughs> no respect! No respect! Whoa! Somebody's throwing cans at us! Rand? Yum, yum! Happy Halloween! Ow! We're Freddy, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, Gary Coleman, and Scooby-Doo. Great costumes, kids. Very retro. I'm the famous David Cross. Who? I had a groundbreaking and critically acclaimed comedy show for four years. Look, we never heard of you. Now, are you gonna lower the drawbridge or not? Ow! I'm afraid we don't have a phone, but you are welcome to stay the night. We'll repair your van in the morning. Thanks, Mr. Cross. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Boss. No sweat. Wow, Sonny and Cher, the Harlem Globetrotters, Henry Kissinger. You had quite a parade of stars here for a short period of time during the early to mid-1970s. Yes, this was a resort for the rich and famous. 
why are you selling it? Uh, it breaks my heart, but, you know, business has dropped off since somebody started playing little pranks. What sort of pranks? Ah, uh, you know, just kid stuff, you know, stealing hotel towels and tampering with the ice machines and eating guests' brains and... <laughs> I know, can you believe it? But don't listen to the rumors. There are no zombies here. Zombies! Besides, you'll be fixed and on your way in the morning. <laughs> My assistant, Mr. Shifty, will show you to your rooms now. Shifty! Shifty! I put up the zombie barricade for the night, as you instructed. Zombie barricade? <laughs> what are you talking about? Eh? Guys, there's no such thing as zombies. Everybody knows. Shifty, you old card, you. Yes, sir. Oh, and by the way, you left a bucket of glow-in-the-dark paint and an old movie projector out in the hallway. I pay you to keep things tidy. Oh, yes, it's just, uh... And I also found this book, How to Use Monsters to Drive Down the Price of Real Estate for Dummies. That's not mine. Uh, my mistake. Hey, there's a Property of Shifty sticker on the inside cover here. Oh, right. Also, uh... I found this under your bed. It's somebody's diary. Once that old fool David Cross is out of the picture, I can turn the castle into condos, I'll be rich, and I won't have to clean toilets anymore. If you can anymore. just give me that diary, I'll... Does that say stash the bodies or slash the bodies? <laughs> Shall I show you to your rooms now? Thanks, Mr. Shifty. Hmm, there's something fishy about this Shifty character. But what? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> no. That's why they call them mysteries, Gary. For such a kooky castle, this room is pretty nice. Yeah, except for that creepy painting. It looked like his eyes were following us. You're probably just tired. You're seeing things. Oh, you're right. We just need a good night's sleep. <sighs> I can't wait to get out of these clothes and into my jammies. If you've been waiting for the perfect time to go online, now is the best time, thanks to America Online. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started a long time ago. Now, new members can try AOL and get our best offer ever. 1,000 hours free for 45 days. It's easy. Plug it in and you go. You don't even need a credit card. Call 1-877-265-0100 and get all those features you'll only find on AOL. When you know you got mail, you hear this really cool voice that says, You've got mail. Oh, I love that. I wonder who that guy is. My single favorite feature has got to be instant messages. Bing. It's having a verbal chat electronically. Our free 24-hour customer service representatives are always available by phone. They're very responsive. They speak your language. Nicest, kindest, most patient people I know. AOL has parental controls, and that's very important to me. My mom's got it. My dad's got it. Both my brothers got it. AOL has it all. You can have it all, too. Call 1-877-265-0100 for 1,000 hours free for 45 days for new members. America Online. So easy to use. No wonder it's number one. Yeah, me too. But wait, we don't have any jammies. Come in. Hello, ladies. Can I get you some towels? That would be great. Hey, Shifty. Can you get these girls some towels? Ah, uh, yes. Right away, sir. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey David, we're just looking for a snack. Well, a rack. <laughs> a rack. That's so awesome, you have a talking dog. Thanks, David. Well, ranks. Yeah, ranks. <laughs> hey, Scooby, say, David Cross. Come on, boy. David Cross. Go ahead, Scoob. David Ross. David Ross. He said David Ross. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Raven Rossi Roo! Raven Rossi Roo! Come on, boy! I'll give you a Scooby snack! Uh, David. Raven Rossi Roo! Come on, boy, you can do it! Raven Rossi Roo! Raven, we won't woo! What? No, not Raven Rehind Roo! Raven Rossi Roo! Well, David! Oh, no! And I can't find Gary Coleman anywhere. Why, Gary's missing, too? No, not Gary. Not Gary Roman. Hey, gang. David, David Cross! Cross.
Shaggy and Scooby said you were captured by the zombie. The zombie? What? No, see, that's how rumors get started. I fell down the stairs. Everybody go back to sleep, okay? And I'll, I'll have Shifty bring you some cocoa. First, we've got to find Gary Coleman. Let's split up. Okay, Fred, you and Scooby check the crawl spaces. Velma, you and Shaggy go look in the swamp. Daphne, let's check the dungeons. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Cross, I usually divide the groups up. Yeah, well, it's my castle. Well, it's my gang. Well, it's my too late trapdoor. Come on, Velma. <laughs> Larry! Larry Coleman! Gary Coleman! Where are you? Over here! This way, Scooby! <laughs> ah! I am a zombie! Coming to eat your brain! Oh, hey, Mr. Shifty! Have you seen Gary Coleman? Mr. Shifty? Who is this Mr. Shifty? I am a zombie coming to eat your brains. It's the zombie! Run! Look, gang! Footprints! And they end right at the wall. That's impossible. There must be a secret passageway. Let's search for the hidden switch. Oh, no sweat. It's under the corner of my Keanu Reeves poster. See? Up and down. Up and down. Ah, uh, David. Yeah? Try not to wreck it for everyone by showing us the secret passageways. Oh, do you, do you want me to tell you that there's a hidden switch here? Or just, like, pretend that it's a regular room? Just... Don't show us where it is. Okay, my way sure saves a lot of time. Cold? Uh-uh, getting colder. Colder? You're almost in Siberia now. Chicken soup for the mystery lover's soul. Would you mind if I borrowed this? Wow, you kids are good. Look, an old Egyptian sarcophagus. <laughs> and a mummy. No money, he just cut himself shaving. I bet he likes to listen to rap music. That's rap with a double beat. Right behind you. Sure, it's a great way to unwind. Come on, David. Your turn. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, think fast. Uh, okay, got one. Um, hey, how many zombies does it take to change a light bulb? How about three? One to hold the light bulb, and two to. Ah! Get your dirty paws off David, you mummy! Ah, ah, go! Go! Get him, Velma! Come on, mummy! You don't scare me! I'm not scared of cloth! Velma, you have saved my life. Oh, it was nothing, David. <laughs> Sorry, Freddy. I was aiming for Daphne. No problem. We solved the mystery! It's Shifty in the zombie suit! Well, Shifty in the zombie suit! Great work, guys. Hey, it's Gary Coleman. Hey, gang. Gary! Gary's okay. We thought you were dead. No, I'm not dead. I'm undead. That's great. Well, not exactly. What do you mean? I'm undead. Not not dead. Undead, not dead, tomato, tomato. The important thing is that you're still alive. Listen to me. I am a zombie. What you talking about, Gary? What you talking about, Gary? Yeah, what... Are you talking about Gary? Oh, that does it. It's bad enough I'm undead, but then you degrade my life by reducing it to a catchphrase. Zoinks! Jinkies! <laughs> Fresh Velma! <laughs> hey, it's our old friend's Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. Big Bad Voodoo Daddy? <laughs> I love Big Bad Voodoo Daddy! Hey, gang! Hey, hey Big Bad, Bad Voodoo, Voodoo Daddy! Daddy. What are you guys doing here? We came to the castle to record our new album. But then a mutant zombie made us undead. So now we're pretty much eating brains. You can eat my brains anytime. How about you kids? Freddy drove our van into a tree. What do you mean, our van? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you guys know Gary Coleman? He's a zombie too. Hey Gary, I'm Carl. I'm Andy. I'm the kid. I'm Kurt. I'm Dirk. 
I'm Josh. And I'm Scotty. So, you guys ready for the big musical chase scene? What musical chase scene? <laughs> Hit it, boys. Behind that door, run! <laughs> against David Cross. Oh, nothing. I loved you in The Truth About Cats and Dogs. Oh, well, thanks very much. Uh, and you were great in, um... Jabberjaw. Jabberjaw. That's right. Jabberjaw was trying to drive down the value of your castle so that he could build luxury condominiums. Actually, I was hoping to eliminate you and the gang in your sleep. Zoinks! You know, you're not the only group of teenage sleuths with a comedic sidekick. I used to solve mysteries, too, underwater, while playing in a band. <laughs> but people didn't care about a lovable talking shark. No. All they wanted was Scooby-Doo, 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 Scooby-Dooby-Doo. <laughs> okay, but you forgot to say meddling kids. And I won't. You can't make me say it. Say what? Meddling kids. I guess we owe you an apology, Mr. Shifty. I'm not really shifty. What the hell? Yeah, that's me. I've been working undercover on this case for a long time. I want to thank you for helping me crack it. At two, Mark Hamill? Nice shot with the real estate sign. Like he must have used the force. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Gary. I'm comfortable with my fame. Sure, it's only a small part of who I am, but that's showbiz. I'm just grateful I mean so much to so many people. Well, another mystery solved. That's a relief, huh? Watch the hands, David. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This case doesn't make any sense at all. Why did Mark Hamill dress up like Shifty and then wear a zombie costume? And who was the mummy? And if the zombie is Jabberjaw, why am I still undead? And furthermore, hey, well, but cut it out, out. Oh, Scooby and Gary Coleman. Running from a zombie. And that door run! <laughs> day, I would say I hate far more than I feel like I like something. I like my western omelet, but while I'm eating that, there's about 17 other things I hate, like my apartment, my breath, whatever's on the TV, whatever's in the paper. Then I walk outside and it'll be a nice day out. Wow, that's great. It's a good feeling for a split second. And then I realize I hate my neighborhood. Because I, apparently you can't play music after 6 p.m. in this country. In a town without heroes, evil has a new face. A really, really hairy new face. I shall be king! But one man's brilliant mind holds the key to salvation. 
three things that can save the city of Townsville. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. This is so cool. Get ready for the cutest superhero team of them all in their first big screen adventure. Ready? Yeah. Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup. The Powerpuff Girls movie, only in theaters, July 3rd. Straight PG. conference call tomorrow yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me whatever happened to FaceTime somebody should go to Cleveland I'll go this wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express double points no what that's double <laughs> that's I don't wow okay I, I, I don't even know where that came from when I get back from Cleveland Cool. Cool to the core. Fellas, sharp-looking hair is a surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim hair color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <laughs> new Maxim hair color from Just For Men. Billy Gibson is thinking about getting an Xbox. He's thinking about the 70 incredible titles like Spider-Man and MotoGP. He's thinking about Xbox's awesome graphics and gameplay. What he's not thinking about is landing the 50-50 grind. Anyone see my board? Xbox, now $199. Think Xbox.com to win a Cadillac Escalade and up to 70 games. Rated E through T. Parents strongly caution, the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. scene we gotta focus on emotion on motivation melissa you look great thank you yeah but you don't feel great okay I don't? no 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 you're you're rita and rita's tormented you know? tormented yeah Bridget, how do I look? you look uh forlorn jason do i look great no no you you look forlorn i don't feel forlorn. jason you're playing the part of randy and randy is forlorn present yeah um is this forlorn uh, no, actually, no. Forlorn. How about this? Uh, uh, <laughs> Forlorn is sad, Jason. You, you got it. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Yeah. How do you spell sophisticated? Um. <clears throat> okay, sophisticated. S O S. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down. Take it one letter at a time. As you were saying. Sophisticated. S O S. Right. You know what? 
Well, you don't have to do that spelling bee crap. It's just the way that I know how to spell but it. But in I reality, you don't have to say words before you say them. But I like, know. I don't have to say, say, every, every word, word, twice, twice. All right? All right? Okay. You did it again, Melissa. I'm sorry. Just spell the word. Um, I can't do it without saying it. Come on. S O F. All right, S O F. I S T I T E. Right. Sophisticated D. C. Well, I thought it was over. D. C D. And then another D at the end. Two Ds at the end. Does it look right with two Ds? No. One D. You have an eraser? Yeah. Well, give it to me. The eraser smells like strawberries. Well, it doesn't taste like strawberries. C, D. Wow. That's a long word. I know. Do me a favor, will you? Mm-hmm. You read this and tell me what you think. What is it? It's a paper I wrote. An article. Wow. Yeah. I write for a newspaper occasionally. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, just read it, please. Okay. Handsome, sophist, so handsome. Sophisticated, Melissa. Oh, right. <laughs> Handsome, sophisticated man enjoys fine wine and lots of it. Yeah, I love that. Seeks beautiful woman for long walks. That's really sweet, Coach McGurk. I changed it from enjoys alcohol. It sounds nicer. I mean, I have to boil down my whole personality in one huge lie. You did a good job. Well, thanks. Jason, stop picking your nose. Melissa, I'm not picking it. I'm pulling things out of it. We're, uh, we're set for Saturday, right? Hi, Brenda. Hi, Jason. We're set for Saturday, guys? Saturday? Yeah. Um, stop picking your nose. No, because the, the... All right, guys, so we're on for Saturday? Brenda, I think I'm available maybe even mm. next Saturday. Okay, you know, I'm only actually interested in uh, this... Actually, uh... Brendan, I can't make it. Well, what, do you, what do you mean uh, you can't make it? Well, I'm going to visit my grandfather in the nursing home. Do you have to go? No, but I like visiting him. I mean, he's really old, but he's really nice. For your own sake, do not go, because, you know, it's not healthy for you to be hanging around with old people because, you know, you could catch an old person's disease and uh, suddenly become old. Brendan, that's a myth. You'd like my grandfather. He's a great storyteller. Mm, you know Titanic? Right. Yeah, of course I do. He saw the original movie. <laughs> well, that's uh, a... <laughs> my, uh, my, Brendan, my grandfather calls me Debbie and tries to kiss me. No. My grandfather was um, a surgeon and lost a big male practice suit because he cut off the wrong leg. That's awful. It's it's terrible, Jason. Yeah, you know, that's what the patient said, but he was a little more angry. Is your grandfather still a surgeon? No. That's the short story. The long story is now he's a very successful uh, malpractice lawyer. I'll get it! I'll get it! Small residence. Brendan? Uh, who's calling, please? It's me. Hey. Hey. Kevin? No, it's Melissa. Oh. What are you doing? Talking to you. I have an idea. Mm. Actually, a proposition. I'm listening. Do you want to do a documentary about my grandfather? I'm, uh, I'm not listening. No, I don't. Why? Uh, Melissa, I don't do documentaries. How come? Because I don't. Oh, uh, I see. You don't do them because they're too hard. What? No, no. Oh, maybe because... A documentary is not like a regular movie. Melissa, I know the difference between a documentary and a regular movie, okay? So Yeah? Yeah, I do. And I have the versatility to do both. In yeah? Case you're, yeah? Yeah, and uh, I will do your documentary of your grandfather. I will. Because as a director, I don't want to be pigeon-toed, all right? You mean pigeonholed? Yes. So you'll do it? Yeah, of, of course I will. Okay, good, because here's the best part. My father said that he'll pay you because he wants to show the video at my grandfather's 75th birthday party next week. Pay? As in money? Mm-hmm. For doing what I love to do? Yep. Th throw a number out, you know. Ten? That sounds great. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I already hung up. Oh, Brendan? Boo, boo, boo. We're sorry. The call you... <laughs> Brendan, that's enough of the song, Mom, please. Hey, I'm being creative. Look at this guy. Car. It's a car, not a oh, couch. So Come on, you old fart. <laughs> oh, Mom. Yeah. Come on, Gramps. Let's go. Move it. Yeah, old people. Yeah. Sleeping. sleeping. Move it. Move it. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> oh, Mom. We have so much fun on our car rides, don't we? Mom. 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 Hey, is this Mozart? I think the Valdi. No, no, behind you. <laughs> Dad, not too much butter. You gotta watch your cholesterol. You're absolutely right. You have it. So, Dad, how was your day? 
I didn't tell you. I, I, I sold two houses. That's great. Yeah, one of them was for sale. Dad. How was school? I got a star in my paper. Well, you can get it off. Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, that, that's good. Did, did you sell a house? No. Loser. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I am so proud of you, Melissa. You know that, don't you? Yes. Hey, I'm excited about this video recording project. Grandpa is really... He's going to love it or hate it. He's going to react. Two kids cheeseburgers two kids and one adult. Two small fries. Yes. Small fries. No, forget the small fries. Forget the Just one large. No. Two small orange sodas. Mom, Mom, I want my own fries. No, we're going to no, split it. No, Mom. Two small orange sodas and a large... Mom, I want my own. You never finish your own fries. It's a waste of food and money. No, you, but, no but someday I'm going to finish them, Mom, and today could be that day. You know, Don't you feel it, Mom? Come on. Come on. Yeah, Mom, see, Mom, even the speaker guy says I should have my own fries. He does it for a living. True. No, he deals with fries all day. He knows. No, Mom, he knows fries. How about I handle my kids, okay, mister? Just trying to help. Do you have any money on you? No. Okay, look, you distract the waiter. I'm going to slip out the back and start the car, okay? Dad. Okay, you distract the waiter, I'll start the car. Dad. Okay, you know what? Forget the car. Let's just both distract the waiter. <laughs> How's your cheeseburger, Brenda? Is that what this is supposed to be? Funny, how are those fries coming out? Um, I don't know what you're talking I, about. I think I still see some fries there. Well, I, I um, can't uh, finish them. Thank you for asking. Why can't you because finish Because there the are fries? too many. Mm. Oh, darn. Too many fries, huh? You just can't finish your own fries. Um, <laughs> and I forgot to bring my bag of I told you so's. You got a new bag of I told you so's? Yeah, remind me to give you a great big fat bag of I told you so's when we get home, okay, Brendan? Mom, we hardly have enough money for fries, and you're, like, spending money on bags of I told you so's? Watch it, Brendan. <laughs> Where were you when Kennedy was shot? It became America's question. I, myself, I was at work. <laughs> Al Steele came into my office. He said to me, Kennedy has been shot. And I saw a tear rolling down his cheek. He was crying. So, <laughs> this sucks. This lunch. is so boring. And Melissa's dad's going to ask for his money back. And yeah, I've already spent it. And he hasn't even paid me yet. You know, it's very educational. It is. It shows a book. You know, I, I I can't have my name attached to something like this. Brenda, it's what Melissa wants. I bet I can make it better, Jason. I can save this puppy. <laughs> Grandpa Ned. <laughs> hey. Hey, Captain. I can take you. Hey, man. wake up. There. Hey, how are you? To the hey. left. Over to the left. Okay. Nice. Hey, uh, tell us some stories uh, about the about the war and, and stuff. Oh, yes, the World War II. We called it WW2. What about when you used to listen to the radio all the time? What was? Oh, tell me about that. Oh, we used to actually listen to the radio. <laughs> tell me about that. <laughs> okay, everybody, here is the guest of honor. Everybody sing. Happy. Dad. Hey Dad, wake up! We're, we're, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch the video now. Uh, oh yes. Brendan, will you do the honors? Yeah. Um, everyone, uh, please focus your attention to the uh, the TV. Thank you. It was 1938. We were listening to the radio. We always listened to the radio because TV wasn't born yet. I was in, in the radio in the 1930s. It was the size of a refrigerator, and everybody loved the radio. I love you, radio. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Turn it off, please. Brendan, is this some sort of joke? Uh, um, um, yeah, yeah. Brendan, how could you? Um, Jason, what did you do to the video, Jason? Um. Brennan, I am so... Melissa, don't even... You look so angry right now. This is perfect. I wish I had a camera because... Uh, where, are you, where, where are you going? Class paying off. Do you think I'm ready to go professional? 
Oh, yeah. I minored in massage at Borchmore. Ooh, can I go next? Sure. Oh, yeah. Ah, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's joshing you, Andy. Premieres tonight at midnight on Adult Swim. This program is brought to you by the Bay Malicious Hotties who love guys who use Maxim hair color. Sharp-looking hair is a surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim hair color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which, which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <laughs> new Maxim hair color from Just For Men. This isn't the chocolate I sent you for Valentine's Day, is it? Huh, look at that. Huh, you never opened it? Oh, my. <laughs> it's all your fault. If you still haven't heard the truth about alien life on Earth. And so you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with... Consider that yourself look lucky. Your Frank! <laughs> You better pick up a few things. Yeah. Let's make it hot. Men in Black 2. <laughs> Sexual that standard? Actually, it came with a black dude, but he kept getting pulled over. Wow. Rated PG-13. Opens everywhere Wednesday. Five seconds to transmission. Kyle, we're ready to send you back in time. Remember, do not interact with the past. Just observe. All right, let's go. What's that? What? He has something. Go, the lever. Pull the lever above your head. Please call. Pull the lever. One tiny bottle of sun kiss couldn't possibly alter history, right? I don't know. No, no. Mr. President, your new cabinet. Thank you. That's a... Sun kiss. Experience the charge. Uh, good work. What did Melissa say about me? Is she, is she still mad at me? Oh, she said she was upset because you made pottery out of her grandfather. Pottery? What does that mean? Pottery, like a vase or a... Okay, are, are, you, are you sure she didn't say mockery? Mockery would make more sense, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. Because um, you did make a mockery of her grandfather's birthday. Well, I mean, I guess I... But she said pottery. <laughs> Well, it was supposed to be funny, you know, but but poignant funny. I mean, I, I didn't really mean to make fun of the guy, but but it was so easy. First of all, life sucks, all right? Yeah. Period. Uh-huh. Done deal. You got it? Got it. There's your lesson. Okay. Go enjoy it. See you later. Wait a minute. What? There's two kinds of funny, Brendan, right? Okay. Okay, there's mean funny, which is, you know, when you make fun of someone yeah. and get laughs at their expense. You know, like stuffing that nerdy kid in the locker. What's his name? Uh, Brian? Carlo, the Italian kid. Oh, right, Carlo. With a funny accent. That's funny, too. Accents are funny. Okay, yeah, but I don't see how that's going to help. I mean... Then there's nice funny, like maybe a little uh, light sarcasm or a clever twist or a knock-knock joke. I like those. You like those? Um... Knock-knock. Huh. Brendan, knock-knock. I'm doing a knock-knock yeah. joke. Knock-knock. Okay. Yeah, uh, hello? What do you mean, hello? You say, who's there, Brendan? You know yeah. a knock-knock joke? Yeah, you know, I, uh... Yeah, I say knock-knock, you say who's there. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of... You know of, what? Of, Do it. Uh, okay. Knock-knock. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. You say knock-knock. I don't... Knock-knock. Who's there? I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know. I hate this joke. That's not funny. It's got to be a pun or something. You know what? Forget it. Where was I? Oh, yeah, nice funny. You know, what you did to Melissa's grandfather was mean funny, Brendan. Okay. Putting a wig and a makeup on some old man while he's sleeping. Yeah, but I mean... Put lipstick on him? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Did you push the call button or do the bed thing where, you know, push well, up I, and down? He's in pretty bad shape. We didn't, uh, no, we didn't impair his uh, health. Oh. No. That's how my grandfather died. You know, actually, uh, Coach, uh, Melissa's mad at me about the whole thing. Well, you know what? All you gotta do is make it up to her. Okay, but but how? You know. <laughs> Usually, I just say I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I mean, that could work. Or you give someone money. Right. Pay them, like a gift. Buy, buy her. A cash gift. Of course, sometimes I have to pay a fine. <laughs> 
Dad? Dad? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> you were laughing. You're right. But it, it's funny. A 75 year old man in drag. What's not to like? But aren't you mad at Brendan? Uh, well, he may have gone a little too far, but I don't think he was being malicious, Melissa. Boy, say that three times fast. Don't be taken in by his boyish charm. B but he is a boy. Hi, guys. It's going to take more than balloons and flowers for me to forgive you, Brendan Small. Well, b uh, both names. Hey, can I have some of that candy? No. Um. Would you like a balloon? Anything? Would you... Thanks, Brendan. That's fine. Dad, Dad. <laughs> Jason. Brendan. <laughs> Help, I'm stuck in the ravine. Oh, baby. I can't get enough of this stuff. A, B, C, D, E, F, C, D. Oh, here. Can I get that for you, ma'am? That's a man. Lady. Man. <laughs> Let me help you with that. Oh. What's... Oh. Hey, Butterfingers. Brendan, let's go. It's not me. My mom did it. Brendan. That was real nice of you to help her, Mom. The elderly should be treated with respect. Yeah, but not all the time, right? Always. Yeah, yeah but um, you said they were old farts. Brendan, I never said that. Yes, you did. In the car. Mom, I have it on tape. Brendan, stop taping our conversations. What's, what's going on? Uh, I guess I did something that might have, might have hurt somebody's feelings. An old person's feelings? What makes you say that? Just a guess. No, it's Melissa. Well, did you apologize? Yes, I did, in fact. Well, that's good, and? She's still mad. Uh, okay, well, you know what you could do? What? Flowers and candy. I did that. Oh, both? Yeah. I guess I'm all out of ideas. Okay. Okay, so that's done. So we're finished talking about that. Yeah, we'll just shop now. <laughs> Coach McGurk, I, I think I know what, what I can do to make it up to Melissa. Good for you, Brendan. I'm going to do a reenactment re of Melissa's grandfather's life. It, David, don't use your hands. This is not tennis. I, I, I can keep uh, some of the, his narration, but intercut it with new scenes. And, David, I mean, <clears throat> soccer, no hands. Coach, I mean, he saved a guy's life in the war, and, you know, that's what I want to show. David, I'm going to come out there and cut those off. Yeah. You think I'm kidding, David? He, he's just a new... Uh, What's the stupid look for? That kid's got to learn. Yeah. You don't use your hands. That's the basic rule. I know that. I know that. All right, so what are you telling me, Brendan? Well, I, I need someone big and strong to play the lead role. And uh, Lead role? Yeah. You thinking of me for the lead? I believe, oh, yeah. Well, I'll do it, but on one condition. Okay, whatever, anything. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, um, I didn't hear what you said. I couldn't think of anything to say. Hmm. David! I'll cut them off! Ouch. Save this for the... For the... Think about it, your life with no hands! Coach, uh, Bloody stumps is all you're going to have. Some of the parents are here to pick up the kids. and uh, I was just kidding. There you go. Use your hands. It's fun. This is for fun. Thank you, Brendan. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's try it again. Uh, Jason, Jason, I need you to be a little, a little bit more menacing. J j um, just try your line again, uh, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot you. Okay. Uh, do, do you know uh, any German words or phrases or... Oh, right. Um, ich bin, ich bin ein Berliner. That's pretty good. You know, maybe we should just uh, try some more makeup. And, uh, yeah, um, I ask not what your um, country yeah, can that's, do. That's not so much German, Jason. Ask what yeah. you can do for your right. country in German, Eddie. In German. But, all right, well, um... No, I'm, I'm, I'm all, it's all right. It's not a big deal. I can carry you just slipping through my fingers here. Well, you know, I'm fine. I'm a little sore. You know, you have a deceptive body. Thank you. I mean, yeah. So I'm getting the wrong signals from the clothes underneath. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's... You know, it, you're, you're lighter than you look. You're very light. I'm, I'm svelte. What, what, what does that mean? Svelte? Mm-hmm. You know that I look good in a sweater, sweater vest? Hey, how do I do, by the way? Ever read a book called An Actor Prepares? Uh, you know, I've only read one book in the last seven years, and uh, that was not it. Because there are special techniques that will help you get into character. Do you do breathing exercises? I know how to breathe. It comes automatically. Try this. Try to breathe through your nose like this. Breathe through my nose. I've never done that before. You cover your mouth. I mean, uh, uh, okay, everybody ready? Yep, McGurk. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, and action. Okay, wait, wait one more, uh, one yeah. more question, okay, cut, Brendan, cut, cut. before we start. Yeah. 
What is my motivation in this scene? Yeah, you're wounded. You just uh, you want to get back. Uh, Brendan, yeah? okay. I'm going to breathe through my nose during this scene. Is that all right with you? Yeah, whatever makes you comfortable, man. That sounds great. Okay, okay cut. I mean, uh, action. Action. Come, uh, come back here, German, German. I'll save you, soldier. Hey, that's some deep breathing. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, who's worried? <laughs> You're Ned. <laughs> better mm -hmm. Ned than dead. Right. <laughs> but better still, never Ned. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. Okay. What's this guy doing here? Hey, okay, you know, cut. Okay, Eric, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Better, 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 better Ned than dead is not that was, uh, that was all very funny and a little too much nose breathing, McGurk. Um, Eric, can I talk to you for a second? Yep. Okay, okay well, you're going to want to stick to the script. Okay. Because yeah, that's fine, that's cute. I'm and, just, uh, you know, okay, but I'll do the lines as written. Okay, I'm going to start you guys off again, uh, McGurk. Okay. I don't know, maybe if you... you want me to pull back on the nose breathing. Right. Uh, ready and uh, action. Oh, Brendan, I forgot my line. Okay. Come back here. All right, come back here. Come back here. That's great. I'll save you, soldier. Don't worry. Hey, who's worried? You're you're Ned, one of the best soldiers around. Thank you, Ned, for saving my life. You're welcome, soldier. Okay, cut. Great, perfect. That was that was great, guys. Thank you, Ned, for saving my life. Yeah, you know, Eric, uh, we cut. We're, we stopped rolling. Okay. You guys did fantastic. All right, Brendan, can we do my thing now? Yeah, you know, that's that's fine. I'll just change right here. Yeah, it's okay. Not my neighborhood. Great. Well, why don't you just tell them about yourself? Just you know, go crazy. Just say anything? Yeah, just, just start talking, you know. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, hey, ladies. Uh, my name is John McGurk. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I, uh, am a professional soccer coach at the, uh, elementary school level, and I, uh, I own a nice car, though I do not currently have legal access to it. Um, uh, as you can see, I used to be in good shape, and, uh, in the last two years, I've successfully completed four out of five rehab programs. The kind of woman I'm interested in is the one, uh, I guess, who's still watching this video. <clears throat> Cut. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. What? That was, uh, well, that was not good? We or? got it. We got this. I think you nailed it. Uh, feed me. Change me. This is my proudest moment, the birth of my granddaughter, Melissa. So, uh, uh, what did you, what did you think, Melissa? I think you just don't get it, do you, Brendan? I mean... Oh, how... whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought it was really good. I really liked it, Brendan. Thanks. Um... um Dad? It, that was the biggest piece of... <laughs> Dad? God, um, how long was I asleep? Yay! Oh, thank you. Uh, Woo! Wow. <laughs> Dad! Whoa, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Dad? Is someone burning toast? Who keeps touching me? I can't... Huh. Dad, I gotta I got hit the road here. This is not... Dad, we gotta get out of here. Who's killing this party? Everyone's leaving. Get over here. I'm not fin... Hi, how'd you like to wake up next to this? Okay, cut. No, my ideal woman is a woman who cares about the world, plus 15%. Uh, I'd, I'd like a, a you know, tall woman uh, about my height. My ideal woman is my mother, actually, who I hate. I need a nice young woman to cut my toenails. I'm looking for a woman who will accept me for who I am and not for my money. Although I'll, g I'll give you $50. <laughs> Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup, three names, three girls, three days till their movie opens. Oh, and three tickets. One for me, my mom, and dad. We'll be there. Will you? Be there. The Powerpuff Girls movie. Only in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. Josh. You don't want to drive. When others 
drivers can't make the right choice. You don't want to drive, man. No. Make it for them. It's for the best. Don't right. let them drive drunk. Saw Mills Flies, new for 2002 at Adventureland, the first ride of its kind in the United States. A wonder-filled whitewater adventure that will take you 60 feet in the air before spinning down a twisting, turning torrent of water. Be one of the first to experience the fun of Saw Mills Flies, along with all of your other favorite ride shows and attractions at Adventureland in Des Moines, Iowa. It's fun that you'll never forget. You're gonna love it at I don't swim. I don't. I don't. I don't swim. I don't swim. This isn't the chocolate I sent you for Valentine's Day, is it? Huh, look at that. Huh. You never opened it? Oh my god. <laughs> it's all your fault. Call it Slugfest for a reason. MLB Slugfest 2003. Rated everyone who said baseball isn't a contact sport. Hey, Dan, how about that conference call tomorrow? Mm, just doesn't feel right to me. Whatever happened to FaceTime? Somebody should go to Cleveland. I'll go. This wouldn't have anything to do with Holiday Inn Express. Double points? No. What? That's double... <laughs> That's... I don't... Wow. Okay, I... I don't even know where that came from. When I get back from Cleveland, we'll talk. You are a curious young man, and curiosity could have repercussions. But lucky you, you get rewarded with a nice vanilla Coke. The smooth flavor of vanilla, the refreshment of Coke. So intriguing. I'm glad you like it. Jimmy! Reward your curiosity with new vanilla Coke. Only in theaters July 3rd. Rated PG. Parents strongly caution the following programs are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These programs may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Coach McGurk, what are you doing? Well, Brendan, I'm chasing my varicose veins. What does it look like I'm doing? Oh, right. Look at the shape this one makes. I call this one the Tigris and the Euphrates. That's the Fertile Crescent right there in between. Oh, no. That's, that's for the ladies, Brendan. That's gross. <sighs> My God, I'm hideous. Oh, yeah. Man shouldn't have legs like this. It's just a bad color to trace them with. Shouldn't use a highlighter is what you're saying. But well, why, aren't you, why aren't you coaching? Well, I'm letting Drew run the practice. That's what assistant coaches are for, running the practice. Yeah, I guess. Assistant coaches are also for doing my laundry. You know, the team really seems to like him. For getting me food. Right. Buying me lottery tickets. Drew, yeah, Drew, they, uh, Drew, they know his name, Drew, too. Drew, Drew. Hey, Drew! I'm Hey, Brendan, how come the team never carried me off the field? We tried, but you were too big. Excuse me? I mean, uh, too drunk? Yes. Yes, I was. But I'll tell you something, Brendan, I am every day. That doesn't mean don't carry me off the field. Okay, it's called Louie Louie. It's based on a fictional meeting between Louis Pasteur and Louis Braille. See, what I'm going for is the absurdity that two famous men from France are both named Louis. Hi, Brandon. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, guess what I'm holding? Um... It's a script written by Dwayne. Mm -mm. He wanted me to show it to you. <laughs> Dwayne? 
Dwayne can't write. You haven't even read it. Listen, Melissa. Yeah. It was just for me. Go back and tell Dwayne that I can't look at what? someone else's script first without just him. Just look at it. No, he has to sign a waiver or you know a release form or a, you know. I think you're have... going a little overboard. No, listen. I don't do other people's films because I have to have full creative control. I'm not saying you have to do it. <laughs> oh, Melissa. Is this your first day on the job? <laughs> What's going on here? Well, I mean, I just figured he works really hard on all of our films. Uh -huh. He does all the music. Uh -huh. He never complains. Mm -hmm. right. And okay. all uh, he's asking me to do is read this script. Please, Don't shh me. I think it's nice that he wants okay. your opinion. Let me, okay, let me see this. This is a, oh, a rock opera based on Franz Kafka. Um, I don't think so. He is Franz Kafka. Franz Kafka. Be careful if you get him pissed. He'll smite you with metaphor fears. Right now he can. He's just a man. A warrior of words taking a stand. He is Franz Kafka. Oh, look. But there he is. What will he say? I'm a lonely German. Okay, cut, 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 uh, oh. <laughs> okay, first of all, guys, tremendous, really. That was just, that was incredible. You know, that's great. I can't, I don't understand how you can do that. It's fantastic. What you do is great. Um, I'm not sure that Kafka's metamorphosis is the best idea for a rock opera. But it could be, too, Dwayne. So, you know, if it's okay with you, I'd like to take a pass at uh, this script. You're going to rewrite his script? No, no, Melissa. I'm not talking about rewriting it. Just a pass. So, Dwayne, my man, what do you say? Is that a yes? That's a yes? I don't know what you're telling me right now. That means yes or no. I can't tell, Dwayne. Way to go yes! out there, Jeremy. Nice hustle. Very nice. Yeah! Outstanding! Why don't you sing a song, Drew? Huh? Okay, okay, come on in, everybody. Huddle up. Huddle up here. Hey, you guys are doing terrific out there, all right? Give yourselves a big cheer. Good work. Good work. Okay, now Excuse remember. Me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What does that mean? It means get out of my way. All right, uh, what's going on? What's up? What are we talking about? Drew? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're talking about being an aggressive team, right? All right. Use our skills, keep our heads in the game. Okay, Drew, enough. All right, slow down. All right, everybody huddle, huddle up. We're huddled up. All right, good. <coughs> wow. Whoa, that was me. I am sorry. But I'll tell you something, I'm on a diet. It's all protein. Holy man. I don't want to step on any toes. Well, that's fine. I mean, you're doing a great job. There's no question, and the kids seem to like you. You're very likable. Yeah. Uh, hey, I um. Which is I... very awkward. You, know, you come out of college, you come here, and you got a lot of great ideas. I used to be like you, except less likable, and I didn't go to college. Sure. And I'm not so good looking. Right. And a beautiful sinewy body. Thanks, Mr. Perfect. It doesn't mean that gives you carte blanche to change the roster. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. And I'm sick of you calling Huddle up. That's my call. Right. And stop pumping up the kids so much. All right. This is bothering me. Brendan, yeah. move up the field. Huh? Don't stand there like an idiot. Come on. Okay. He's a goalie. He's not playing goal. Oh. Brendan, yeah. get out of the goal. Tim, get in goal. Brendan. I don't know what's going on, Drew. Time out. Time out. Coach, there's no timeouts in soccer. I mean, we got to wait for the play to start. There's no timeouts? No, no timeouts. I mean, uh, In I, soccer? No, no. It's, it's, yeah, it's... I know the game is soccer, Drew. No, I know. All right? I know you do. Forget the timeout. Huddle up. <laughs> You know, Brendan, hmm? winning this game might be the worst thing that could ever happen to this team. But I thought we were supposed to win. No, no, no. Yeah. Anybody can win. Huh. See, when you win, yeah. you get cocky. Uh -huh. And you get lazy. Yeah. And you get flabby. Hmm. And the next thing you know, you're losers again. But, yeah, but That's we... a good place to be. Right. But we lose all the time. Yeah, but it's going to hurt worse if you win because then you'll have tasted victory. You see what I mean? 
I guess so. And once you've tasted it, it tastes you. Okay. See what I mean? Um, no, but that's cool. I mean, All right, losing right. keeps you sharp, Brendan, all right? Okay. Keeps you hungry, keeps you thirsty. Right. Hey, you want a donut and a large coffee? <laughs> Thanks. Well, I do. <laughs> I guess that's me again. Bingo. Shucks. French vanilla? No, none of that crap. You used to get French vanilla. I know, vanilla. that was a bad phase. I'm embarrassed by it. You want hazelnut? No, I want none of those flavored coffees, Brendan. Just give me a regular coffee, half and half, three sugars. All right, man. All right, hazelnut. Okay, I knew it. <laughs> I think the music's great. I'm not saying the music isn't great. Brendan? Yes. I like it. Well, I'm not saying I don't like it, you know, Brandon, guys. What? I think this could be one of the best films we've ever I'm done. I'm not saying it's... Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, okay. <laughs> guys, look, it's like too easy. You What's know? too easy? If we keep doing easy things like this, then we won't be hungry. We won't be thirsty, you know? Um, could I have some juice? Brendan, what are you talking I'm about? I mean, hungry to do good work, guys. I mean, you know. Brendan, you're being ridiculous. Brenda? D no, Brenda? what? My mother said that hot dogs are made from horses. Yeah, okay. Well, it's from this. From meat from horses. It's the screenplays that drive you crazy, the ones that make you miserable. Those are the ones that turn out great. Brenda. Yes, horses. They, they are no, made from horses. No, no, no. You're not making much sense. Okay, okay. Brendan, you're well, talking crazy. No, the production is like... I want it's a hot like, dog. Melissa, will you get Jason a hot we dog? We just ate. M Melissa. What? That's what I'm saying. It's like hot dogs. It's like horses. It's everything smashing together like a crappy hot dog. Brendan. I can't think of Brendan, what. Brendan, you're getting all worked up. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Brendan. What? The film. Brendan. What? Melissa. What? What? Lunch break. Hey, I call the lunch breaks around here. Okay, we'll call lunch break. Lunch break. <laughs> Melissa? Yeah? How come uh, Dwayne it gets to be the bug? Because um, there's only one bug and he's kind of the star because he wrote it. Right. Did, is that your dad's coat? I guess it's Brendan's. It's so big on you. Well, it's Brendan's dad's. And it smells. All right, guys. Okay, uh, everyone uh, in place. Good. All right. Action. Did you read the script? I Action. read the book. Hello. You did? Hello. We're rolling yeah. here. We're just using up tape now. Can't we have two bugs? Action on this. I'd want to be Hello. a maggot. Hello. Hello. A I'm maggot? here. I'm right here. That's so Action. gross. Well, because... Action! Oh, my God. For a minute there, I thought you couldn't hear me. You know. Brother? Yeah. Can I be a bug? I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm turning into a bug. I see double what I see. I think I'm turning into a bug. I ain't got no self-esteem. I think I'm turning into a bug. Bet you $50 on my man. I'm a scholar. I'm turning into a bug. Mama like a daddy, like a baby, like a baby, like a turn into a bug. Yeah! Yeah! Cut. Cut. Hey, Dwayne, uh, can I see you outside in the sandbox for a minute? Just, you know, for a second. Okay, thanks. Okay, Dwayne, we tried it your way, and uh, it ain't working, you know? It's... I mean, the project has just got so much energy and humor. I like the music. Yeah, the music's great, too. Dwayne's really great. Yeah, but sometimes it's too loud and then my ears bleed. Well, Jason, that's because you stand too close to the speakers. I know, because I can't hear it. My ears have too much blood in them. Gross. I, you know, what do you say I just, you know, pick up the reins from here, you know, and, you know, let me call the shots, because that's, that's what I do best, Dwayne, you know, so, <laughs> what do you say, yeah, Dwayne, you know, I have a, I have a hard time reading your expressions. One time I put a toothpick in my ear. You mean a Q-tip? No, a toothpick. How far in did it go? Then it broke off. Did you have to go to the hospital? No, I didn't tell anybody until now. I think this is one of the best projects we've ever worked on. Okay, hey guys, guys. Can, okay, can I have everybody's attention, please? All right. Okay. Um, project over. What? Everybody, go home. Um, Brendan, what are you talking about? This project is over. But There's it was nothing... going so well. Hey, you know, talk to Dwayne. Okay, it's over. But I want the regulars to be here tomorrow because we are going to start on a new project. Okay. Oh, am I a regular? Uh, yes. My pants say irregular. <laughs> Attention swimmers, we've got an all-new Mission Hill. Brand new one. 
So is my massage class paying off? Do you think I'm ready to go professional? Oh, yeah. I minored in massage at Borchmore. Ooh, can I go next? Sure. Oh, yeah. Ah, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's joshing you, Andy. Premieres tonight at midnight on Adult Swim. This program is brought to you by the Bay Malicious Hotties who love guys who use Maxim hair color. Fellas, sharp-looking hair is a surefire way to get noticed. Introducing new Maxim hair color. Wherever you go, young ladies will pay unusual attention to your hair. Even shy and quiet girls will be behind your good grooming, no matter which snazzy look you choose. At the office, well-groomed hair is successful hair. If you have the look of a winner, you just may find yourself in an exciting new position. <laughs> new Maxim hair color from Just For Men. This isn't the chocolate I sent you for Valentine's Day, is it? Huh, look at that. Huh, you never opened it? Oh, my... <laughs> It's all your fault. If you still haven't heard the truth about alien life on Earth... So you're back from outer space. I just walked in to find you here with... Consider that yourself look lucky. Your Frank! You better pick up a few things. Yeah. Let's make it hot. Men in Black 2. <laughs> Standard actually came with a black dude, but he kept getting pulled over. Yay. Ready PG 13 opens everywhere Wednesday. Five seconds to transmission. Kyle, we're ready to send you back in time. Remember, do not interact with the past, just observe. All right, let's go. What's that? What? He has something. Go, the lever. Pull the lever above your head. Please call. Pull the lever. One tiny bottle of sun kiss couldn't possibly alter history, right? I don't know. No, no. Mr. President, your new cabinet. Thank you, that's a... Sun kiss. experience the charge. Uh, good work. Next, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is next. And that's why we're a team. Just because you have the camera? No, you, the fact that it's my camera has nothing to do with which project we work on. But we're working on mine because it's the kind of project that we've always wanted to do. I want to work on Dwayne's. Dwayne's dead. Okay, then yours. What's your project anyway? Should um, we send flowers to Dwayne's family? The, the project is Louie Louie. Oh, not Louie Louie. Hey, hey. do we veto that one? No, project? no, we, we put it on hold. Well, can we veto it now? Absolutely not. Okay, can we put it back on hold and then veto it? Brandon, nobody was real crazy about Louie Louie in the first place. What are you saying? Two against one. It's my camera. Let's do Kafka. Poor dead Dwayne. Are you Louie Braille? Yes. Say we. Oh, we. Mr. Braille, how are you today? Blind. Ha! It's a cruel world. I invented a new way for blind people to read. Magnifique! What do you call it? Braille, get it? Oui! I am calling my discovery pasteurization. Get it? No. My name is Louis Pasteur? Now I get it. We're great men. The world owes us a lot. But we ask for very little in return. I asked only for a house on the Riviera with a view. A view? But you're blind! Well, everyone in my family is not blind. What do you think, we're just a bunch of blind people? No, I am sorry. I have been under a lot of stress, Louie. You mean, you mean lately? I thought your name was Louie. You're right, I'm sorry. We are two great men from France, both named Louie. It was great meeting you, Louie. And great meeting you, Louie. I must get back to my lab. I don't have a lab. You can use mine. Ah, it's a cruel world. Oh, you said I could use it? Yes. It's not such a cruel world after all. Okay, um, well, I've decided not to use traditional boring music for the movie. You so. mean instruments? Yeah, yeah, that's very trite, you know. Instead, we'll do it with our mouths. 
you know, like a dum da 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 dum 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 da da da. Try that. Dum da 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 dum 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 da 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 dum dum. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's great. Okay, let's have fun with it. You're sure it sounds okay? Oh, it sounds great. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not sure All right. it's qualified as music. Hey, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, action. I have decided to uninvent my idea of using Braille to help blind people read. Ah, but it is too late. You already thought of it. Thought of what? Braille! I don't know what you're talking about, wink, wink. Oh, I get it. Okay, Melissa, right here. Okay, real, real big. Lots of, lots of drama here. Okay. Brendan, I can't do this. It's stupid. Um, you're stupid. 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 Stop, you're it. stupid. Stop it, mommy. Whoa, Brendan. Yeah. Don't, don't Brendan. Oh. Don't open your mouth. Why don't you go get? Brendan, stop, stop it. Who said you can start? Um, I'm who not... said you can start it, Brendan? I, I can't understand you. I said, who said you could start it? I just feel alone for a little bit. Brendan? Uh, yeah. We need to talk to you. Okay, okay. Uh, Brendan, Dwayne's not dead. <laughs> we want to do Dwayne's movie. And, um, he's not dead. I know you think that you want to do Kafka, but... Brendan, you... please don't tell me what I think because... It insults your intelligence? I don't know. Well, I think uh, you're entitled to all of that. Um, you know, I'm sorry it, it had to end this way, but you're, you're two very talented people, and I'm, I'd be glad to write letters of recommendation for, you know, let's do lunch sometime and uh, weekend outings. And... Brendan, you hold the bag now. But I wanted to throw the balls. Brendan, take the bag. But I'd like to throw the My ball. arms are tired. Besides, I'm the head coach. All right, yeah, I forgot. What does that mean? You forgot. I forgot who was in charge here. You know. What, what, are you, what are you trying to say? You forgot that I was head coach? Um, but no, I... Brendan, how many games have we won since Drew showed up here? All, all of them. Yeah, and how many have we lost? Uh, none of them. Huh. Drew's a hell of a coach, huh? I, I know. Makes me look bad. Well it, well, it does sort of highlight a few weaknesses. Shut up, Brendan. Okay. Let me think here. Drew's a nice guy, right? Very nice. It means well. He knows soccer. Kids seem to like him. Kids love him. Yeah. He could have my job if he wanted it, huh? In a heartbeat. But, you know, why, why would a guy want a dead-end job like that, you know? I can't take that chance, Brendan. That's why it has to look like an accident. What does? The accident. Oh, right. But that's it. Dwayne, the strings on Dwayne's guitar. Would you just suddenly strangle him? That It would be perfect. Or I just frame him. We can exchange the murders. Or Chris Cross. What are you talking about, Chris Cross? I'm talking about Christopher Cross. I love that song. Arthur. Sailing? sailing? Yes, yeah, sailing. You do Arthur also? Do, 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 do. I am Louis Braille. And I am Louis Pasteur. <laughs> okay, okay, cut. Uh, you know, that's a wrap. Uh, Melissa, what'd you think? I thought it was so good. You, what you did over there? I, was, I didn't think you were going to do that. A... Um, Bre Brad did. Uh, yeah, Jason? Um, Brendan. <clears throat> Mom! Hey! Brendan, are you okay? Hey, this is Mom. This is a closed set. Where's Jason and Melissa? Uh, they're, uh, away. You know, they're busy people. They've got their own lives. Brendan. They can't. We, uh, broke up. I fired slash, uh, resigned. You broke up with your best friends. Well, you know, it was creative differences, you know. They didn't want to do what I wanted to do, so, uh... They're your best friends. I, well, I mean, they're not that great of people, Mom. They've got their flaws, you know? I mean... You're coming unraveled. Brendan, come upstairs. <clears throat> how about some cookies and milk? Hmm? Mom, what is this, 1955? This is how we're solving problems? Yes. Well, uh... <laughs> You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. What are we arguing about? Who is stupider? No, we need to get a video camera. Why don't we build one? That's stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. Hey, Melissa, uh, Jason, hey, Dwayne, uh, guys in this band whose names I've never taken the time to learn, but I will. I'm, uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I found you guys. 
Brennan, we saw you hiding. I wasn't hiding, uh, but no matter. I, I have some good news. I spent some time juggling my schedule around and crying, but, you know, I was able to free up some time, and so, uh, I'm back! Okay, well, let's not get <laughs> carried away here, okay? Uh, okay, look, I'll come clean. I'm, I, I haven't been a very good role model to you guys. Brendan, you were never a role model. No, um, Brendan. Okay, 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 I'll... I'll I'll, I'll be honest with you, I guess, you know, this whole Dwayne thing left me feeling a little threatened, and I guess that's why I acted so egotistical, you know? Oh, is that why you were being so selfish, too? Uh, no, actually, that was um, just a coincidence. But more to the point, is that why you acted um, so insecure and cowardly? Yes on the first one, and no on the second one. Okay, wait a sec, yes Well, on the that, that concludes the begging for forgiveness portion of my apology, and now hopefully we can get back to being friends and making movies. Brenda? Mm? Dwayne is not dead. Yeah, no, he's right there. My client wants points. What does that mean? It means points. Duh. Lots of them. And no points and we walk. Stop saying points. Points. What I want is something that, that just says uh, in here that I get final cut. And points. Forget the points. No, no, the points are the whole thing. Okay. Dwayne would like two cuts. One for him that he gets to approve and then one for you. A director's cut. Director's cut? I like. What, um, what about points? Okay, you can have 17 points. Deal. We win. 17 to nothing. Brendan. Yeah? We win. Nice work, my man. What did I tell you about getting the points? It worked. It totally worked. Welcome to heaven, Franz. My name is God. I think you're going to like me here. Well, I'm carrying disease, helping blind people leave. Don't drink that milk without talking to me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save you to those who can't see with his eyes. Don't uh, mess with me. You'll get past your eyes. Yeah. Come on. Give Louis, us a slip. Louis in the house. Break it down. Uh, this is for your cut, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, but let me tell you why I think it works really well for yours, too. Why would a guy ride all over the wall like this? <laughs> You'd have to be crazy. A guy like that shouldn't be coaching kids. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, police, there is a guy spray painting vulgar things on the west wall of the elementary school. And it's not me. It's this guy. And this is not good for the kids. Because you should see what he's spray painting. Oh. oh, Drew is involved with the occult. Holy sh I just called you. Oh dear. That's a um, quick response. What? Oh no, it's not me. I found the can the guy was using. And I just picked, you know, this is. get our best offer ever and features you'll only find on AOL. No credit card needed to get started. You've got mail. Email makes staying in touch effortless. I instant message everybody. It's the fastest way to communicate. Parental controls help keep kids safe. Call 1-877-265-0200 now and new members get 1,000 hours free for 45 days. America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. 
You know, I've seen just about every kind of PC the Compaq makes. Now, though, we've got the Compaq Presario 6000T PC. As my kids would say, it's awesome. It's got the latest Intel Pentium 4 processor so that you can download, surf, play MP3s all at the same time. And you can get it any way you want it. It's what I call a personal computer. Like, this is the Andersons PC. They're getting a DVD burner, editing software. I see where this family's going. Hollywood. E.J. Dan from Scranton, PA. He's getting a CDRW drive so that he can mix and burn his own CDs. Looks like the Everett family got this week's special. That's the Compaq Presario 6000 TPC with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, 20 gig hard drive, and we'll give you a $100 instant rebate. So it's just $7.99. You can get in on it too if you hurry. You just call 1-888-921-6714 and get yours direct from Compaq. Of course, the best PC we'll ever make is the one we'll make for you. Which new color will you vote for in the M&M's Global Color Vote? Purple, aqua, or pink? How will you decide? Huh. Now, where did those... <gasps> Get connected with FreeUp, the better way to prepay from Verizon Wireless. Get set up with a great Kia Sarah phone for only $69.99 after $30 mail-in rebate, which includes $15 worth of prepay minutes. Hey, if you're already hooked up with FreeUp, for a limited time, we'll throw in 200 bonus weekend minutes every time you re-up with $50 or more. So stop by a Radio Shack retailer to join in or free up at a Verizon Wireless location near you. Next, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is next. I can't believe it! No bids? Are you kidding me? What's not to like about this? What's not to like about what? About your greasy ass! Let me refresh. Damn it! What's this for? My financial advancement. When I'm retiring at 40, and you suckers are still working in the salt mines... Well, I thought you was 40. Shut up! And your face is 40. Where the fuck are we gonna find a store? Look, we're not going to do that. That's that's just for the video. Oh, yeah, the video. You were filming, right? Is this on? Here, take a picture of me. I'm gonna saw my own head off. Yeah, do that. That'll show them. Yes, it will. Down on your knees, America. The rivers will run red with my blood. Your wife's pretty hot, man. How much do you make a year? You have some manners. Who lived here before? Uh, just some residents. You know, I'm not talking about them. And over here, my dear, you can undress right here on this uh, X. You know, don't, you know, gotta be on that spot. Uh, and you know, you gotta do it there. So when can we plan on you moving in? Let's be frank here. That gas leak. It's going to kill anybody that tries to move in I'm not here. fixing that gas leak all right, for no, 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 you no, no, all right, all right, all right, fine, fine. I understand, you know. But are you, are you totally set on that price? I mean, 20 grand a month, man. I need that money. Cost of blood is going up. I need to feed. Yeah, you keep throwing around words like blood and feed. I mean, feed what? Never you mind. I've said too much already. I'm so stupid, stupid. I mean, maybe paint a mural or like the... The 91 giants, like cresting a hill? Carl, I'm starting to think you aren't right for this job. This is not a fit. Really? Well, then fit this. Dude, I hit you with a battery in 89, you remember? D-Cell? Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, I still got the scar. And I still use that battery. Thanks, man. I gotta tell you, I spent about three nights in the clink because of that. But it was so worth it to see you just drop to your knees in anguish. So what are you doing here, man? Hanging out with these hooers. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's the magic hour. All right, now. Just reach up and grab them. Carl. Ah! Macula, what are you... Uh, what's going on, man? Hey, check this out, man. All this skin comes off with a zipper. You see? And then the harpoon. Oh, this harpoon hole? Surgically made for the illusion. Dude, it's so hot. The biggest sexual organ is your brain. You know what I mean? No. I have an idea. How about if I go see my wife and kids? I have a better idea. It's called Pizza for Everyone. Pizza Party.
Who has money? Do you hear that? Let's... Yes. And it is beautiful. Uh, not to me, man. And I called the cops. And uh, they took one look and they kept driving. You leave my tenant alone. He's screaming his head off over there. I'm about to get my balls up and uh, go over there and make it my business. Just so you know, he's ripping all the cop out of your house. <laughs> and he just hauled ass down the street. Oh, he's probably just getting some money for a fix. Look, this is officially an issue. You need to come see this. Oh. But I ain't paying him for October until he fixes that damn gas leak. Well, I'm starting to like this cave now, actually. Yeah, this is an upgrade. I like the feel of it. It's got a lot of space. It's cool. It's free. Is he living in our house? Paul? Yeah. It's actually been rented a few times. Well, not if I have anything to say about it. You wait till I get out of here. Where are you located again? Oh, well, you know, we're cocooned by military spiders in a cave in the Mojave Desert. You remember what I told you, that, right? Is that in Jersey? I don't know where it is, Carl. Will you please look it up on the internet or something and come get us? All right, listen. I may, I may have a window, a small window of time tomorrow. Okay? Tomorrow is the party, Carl. He's gonna use us as birthday games, Carl. Birthday games. <laughs> well, that's different. Okay, okay. You're in my room, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, under my bed, you'll find a dead prostitute. Just ignore her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, God. Carl, I'm just kidding. You know there's no dead prostitute down there. What kind of a person do you think I am? A lot of times you pretend like you're paying attention on the phone, but, you know, you're actually not. Okay, you see the mini fridge next to my keyboard there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's filled with very expensive vodka straight from Russia. Okay. Then what? You're not paying attention again, man. I know it. Turn the damn computer off, Carl. It's off. It's, I'm not touching it. It's off. What does it do? It lightens, hardens, burdens, strengthens, satisfies, and fully pleasures your crotch. It doesn't look safe. It's not. They've been sued many times, but women don't get turned on by safe. They crave danger. Yeah, they want a man who challenges them, no matter how disreputable about the trap of them. When it shuts off, I'm gonna have to have a talk with him. Mr. Parker, and he was a wonderful magician. Oh, this thing's out here. Carl, we need to... Uh, oh, Carl, we need to talk. Hang on, fry man. I got a cop a squat. The deuce is loose. <laughs> I got a big brown dog barking at my back door. You know what I mean? Look, what are you doing? Look, hey, you talk to me all you want. Just don't look at me. I mean, it freezes me up. I don't know if it's science or nothing, but somehow it knows. What the hell is wrong with you? Dude, my porcelain melted. I gotta go somewhere. Holy... Carl, it's glowing. And you are too. Look at your groin. Minor side effects that will go away over time. Well, you're having a good time. <laughs> Chubbs! Hey, hairball! You, okay. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? You yeah. spin around and you direct your attention to me. You had your cholesterol check recently? You probably got a heart condition coming on. <laughs> oh, yeah. You serious? Yes, big boy. Oh, you got a you got a death wish or something here? I'm going to hop in my pool right now and do a few laps. And when I get out, you have better, if you know what's good for you, have a warm towel for me hot out of the dryer. And I mean hot. I will not say it again. So if I were you, I'd get those cottage cheese thighs moving to the laundry room and eat a salad once in a while. But time is money. Time is money. You give us the money. And my time right now is devoted to lack. No, you told him, uh, You told him. Yeah, I know that I did. Just so easy. I, what are you reading? Seven ways to make your skin look younger. I want to read that after you're done with it. Private Shake! Are you done peeling them taters, you maggot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can say I'm well done with these potatoes. And you can kiss my privates. <laughs> Where's the lucky bachelor? <laughs> well, I consider myself lucky, but I'm taking guys. Who's the right hunter? Where's the... Where's the action? There's no, uh... I don't see no strippers here. Look, Carl, they're not strippers, okay? At least I don't think so. Two of them are guys. Oh, so I guess, uh... I got some bad information, then. You shouldn't have gotten any information at all. Bert, remember how hard you would hit me? As hard as I could. As long as I could. Frankly, all the hitting drained me. I had to go to the hospital and have my hands replaced. I was too high, too out of my mind to know I had ruined my hands hitting her. 
But those days are over. No crack for me. I'm so sorry. Oh. We're not normally like this. Okay. All right, I see. And now you want to have sex with the fries. Is what? that it? Yeah, no, tell Bert. them some more lies. That's what you're no, good at. Prefer- lies from the wolf. I'm sorry, Bert. Yes, you are. A sorry sack of tangerine bitch. Go do them. I'll watch. Do it before thine eyes. Oh, Bert, please don't hit me. Then get the liquor faster. Give me just a little bit of that booger sugar. Bert, no, you can't. I can feel real good with my mouth. Bert, calm down, Bert. I will not calm down until cocaine enters my system. I don't swim. I don't. I don't. I don't swim. I don't swim. Per day, I would say I hate far more than I feel like I like something. I like my Western omelet, but while I'm eating that, there's about 17 other things I hate, like my apartment, my breath, whatever's on the TV, whatever's in the paper. Then I walk outside and it'll be a nice day out. Wow, that's great. It's a good feeling for a split second. And then I realize I hate my neighborhood. Because I, apparently you can't play music after 6 p.m. in this country. Show place. This is it, where you'll see new hit movies, all-time great flicks, gritty independent films, and all your movie favorites. Ask for Showtime Unlimited and get four premium networks on ten digital channels, all in one place. Show off. It's hard not to. With daring, innovative, new original series, Showtime Unlimited is breaking the mold with premium programming that's creating a buzz. Get ten unbeatable channels. Call today. If you wake up sore, stiff, with back, neck, or shoulder pain, wishing for a great night's sleep, call for this free Better Sleep and Gift Catalog, featuring three free fabulous gifts. Choose a free camcorder, free digital camera, or free DVD player, free with purchase of any Craftmatic Monaco adjustable bed. To receive your free Better Sleep and Gift Catalog with free information on the adjustable bed that costs 50% less than many quality flatbeds, call now. Call toll-free 1-800-948-3553. That's 1-800-948-3553. Call now. The forecast for tonight in Townsville calls for continuing evil monkey spit showers. Film at 11. The Powerpuff Girls movie in theaters now. Rated PG. We are back, man. That was possibly the finest rock and roll show I have ever seen. I smell world tour. Wow. You mean the whole world? Yes. You're not Gene. You're not Paul. You. You guys aren't Kiss. No, but we did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> stay smart. Stay at a Holiday Inn Express. But damn, really hurt. I'm calling Japan. Who the hell do you know in Japan? Nobody! Hello, Japan? No! Yes, can I meet you, Godzilla, please? Don't beat yourself up over it. There's nothing you can do about this. I mean, it, it kinda was your fault, but. But hey, screw it. They're dead and you're not. Can I help you? Oh! You're not Mr. Jones, room 302. Where are my charts? No charts? Somebody's fired. I be, I gotta fire someone. I'm just gonna shut the door behind me. You go back to bed, you 
trooper. And look what we have here. Pipe cleaners, a stapler, and a pound of human hair. Here. It's a uh, fruit roll-up. I was gonna make you a casserole for your, for your loss, but, uh, but I didn't. What did you want me to do a search for? Do, uh, yeah, do, okay, give me search for super crime, girls in trouble, and press release. How to? Here's what your search turned up. Sex with animals. There's no time, man. <laughs> I got two tickets to the Super Bowl. No, it's it's full. That's cute that you said that because you're a freaking idiot. And the simulation program proved to me that you are not mature enough to take care of a pet rabbit. Frylock, is that what you thought? Well, that's what I and the computer both know. Mm -hmm. Well, then, no, this. Violent criminals have proof. What did you? Fat Albert. Albert. Uh, I've proof. Fat no, Albert. No, 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 no. It's Prince. Prince Albert. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, I've proof. Fat Albert on the town. In the town. What I need to go see is the Super Bowl. Don't play with my emotions. Who are you taking? Yeah, who are you taking? Carl, how'd you get in here? The window, jackass. Who are you taking? Hey! Good luck with the casual sex. I mean it. No, because you won't get it. Now with that name. This is the Drizzle. What do you need? All right, it's Shake Around. I mean, you're friends with him, right? Uh, check. Check 10-4. Shake, are you there? Yes, I'm right beside you. Uh, you have a call. Thank you. <sighs> uh, hand the phone to me, please. That's so sweet. You're trying to say that you love me, Carl. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not put people on the spot here. Who are you taking to that freaking Super Bowl? Carl, you're fiddle. Please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That is my daddy. Oh, yes, it is. I yes. Are you big one, daddy? And he said, how'd you know? Yes, I am. Well, the game just started. Ooh, what a contest. 55 to 3 in the first quarter. Shut it off. Oh, okay, Candy. I'm sorry. I guess we're not in America. I guess now I'm not allowed to pay for sex with Penny. All right, all right, fine. What should I call it then? Badass mother! No, Snurple. Or Schroeder. One and no. two. Badass mother 4,000. Twice as fast as your ass. Uh, uh, Look, I know that you're staring at it. Hey, I mean, I got to drain it three times a day so my brain can think good. We're hoping that's temporary. Gentlemen, behold! I! made love to this machine and now upon retrospect i ask why gentlemen say goodbye to your old desktop say goodbye to your new one too look here he can be down there on a prom date with santa claus on the moon for all i care the point is i can do whatever i want with my toys put up your toys shut up hey carl hey yourself Who's your friend over there? It smells like, uh, Almond Joyce. Hey, it's me, Shake! <laughs> Would you get that done in Guatemala or something? Get what done? Yeah, he did. We calling in the pros now. Is your buddy out of prison yet? Which one? Because there's three. Oh, you know which one. The guy that was in the hotel with the people and the welding. Oh, Terry, yeah, yeah, he's out. But, uh, part of his parole is he's not supposed to, you know, do what he was doing. To flesh. It's all starting to add up now, isn't it? The levitation, the evil book reading, the cream cookies you're always eating. You're a damn witch. Oh, yeah? Well, what you gonna do about it? Eat pizza. Pizza time, pizza time. Try looking deeper than your heart and ask it why it wanted that duck to go. Down your throat, you bug eyed freak! You know how much that duck costs? Higher than you can count! Yeah, since when did you get a tail? A tail? Yeah. Dragons have tails and kitty cats and lizards. Could you and... please shut up, Meatwife? Uh uh. I got a lot to say. Oh, what happened to the bar? This is like a little shelter down here. Well, if you add somewhere, stupid. You obviously have to subtract from somewhere. So then they took your butt and put it on your face. They did what now? Y'all see this butt? It's flat. Actually, it's concave, isn't it? Well, you got an ass face, boy. Am I right? Well, I guess you are right. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to ass face over here. What do you think, ass face? How am I going to fill the jeans if I don't have an ass? You ain't. You need to get yourself a job making horror movies. Return of the deadly ass face. Well, fine. Never go back to ass face lake. Well, fine. I, I won't do Gina. That's simple. Deadly ass face lake camp. A little work on but, that one. But I could do underwear, right? Right? Slip over, shovel ass. You could do a hospital lab. Okay. Recite to me the number 
for the excavators. Unless you want to go back there and dig up the septic tank you yourself. You flush the cable bill down the toilet. All the bills, Frylock, they're too expensive. I gotta go back down to Guatemala for some more cheap cert- m- mission trip. A lot of kids. Big trouble. When will you be back? That's really up to God now, isn't it? Hey, I thought the roosters had sex. No, usually, but not these. They were uh, farm-raised in my throat with cheese. I can hear you out there. Maybe I'll get a Benetton ad where they look for freaks. Shake, you're not a freak, okay? Hey, come look at this freak. Is that what I think it is? It's an NST, a neural speech transmitter. No, huh? It's my BNCS. My brushed nickel colander, stupid. I think what you need is to shut up. But it's gonna be hell week. I'll roll up into one night all up in here. Shake, I got this, okay? I'm serious. He'll die tonight, yo. Shake, I told you I got this. You're part of it, ah! but Listen, Carl, I know it hurts, man, but I need to keep your foot elevated to all hell. Oh, that's not mine. Is now listen, we've been through some good times together, and I will always cherish that. But we do not want to marry you. We still want to date around and see other people. Me- you know, you're the rudest person I know. And that's why you don't live here anymore. I, damn, Kyle, you look stupid. <laughs> yeah, my HMO guy didn't know how to uh, approach this, so he did this. Hey, do a headstand for me. That's it, mister. Time out for you. Oh, uh, damn. What did I just hear you say? I heard him. He said, damn, damn it. Only adults like us are allowed to say, damn, bitch ass in hell. So get your hell and damn and ass back in that bitch and damn room, damn it. What? Damn, I was just helping you out, bitch. You shouldn't mouth off like that. You're insane not to we be fool. And that's why you got the eye makeup on, right? Uh-huh. This is my demon face. Some about these pills, they, uh, take the edge off, you know? Take four of them and, uh, that yellow gateway over there opens for that dwarf man. Did you want to go over there with me, or...? No, thank you. I want as little to do with you as possible. Now, please leave my sight. What? Hey, how come the shower ain't working? I don't know. Probably, maybe, something you did to anger God. Look, there's only one way to get across this street. You close your eyes and just bolt out there with complete disregard for machine. What if I just kept one of them? And maybe try to double. Yeah. If you think you're gonna get somewhere in life by cheating, yeah. I mean, you may as well just paint yourself yellow, run around like a maniac, and call yourself Banana Man. Because that's what you're doing. What's that, man? Shut up. Come here. Hey, this is funny. Whoa. Bad wiring, my friend. And if you tell the insurance people that, but stick to it, don't waffle. I'm fairly confident. They will drop you. What are y'all doing? Oh, oh great. No. Geek patrol on Turn alert. The nerd alarm. Look, we're not doing jack, so why don't you just go back inside and stroke your test tubes like I know you love yeah, to do? Go back inside. We don't want any. Geek. Don't you be giving it to me in that sippy cup. I'm an adult, and I deserve an adult glass. <laughs> you can stay with us, Carl, as long as you have those pills. Thank you, Daddy. You found it. That's your guest bedroom. And hey, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom, you know, just do it. Shake. Don't mess with him, okay? He's had a long day. You need anything else? There's some ants. <laughs> Wait, don't open. There's someone in here. I- I'm wrapping presents. I know what you're doing in there. Now I'm telling Frylock. He knows. He has the gift. But he's about to lie to you. Oh, please. We all know what you do in there, Shake. You do it about five to six times a day. And what exactly is it that you think I do? I think you read butt frenzy. No, I don't. But how do you know? You have the gift. I'm surrounded by shiners. Come on. Where are we going? To exploit him. How much you got in your wallet? No, And what would you say if I told you I could trip him? And I would say that I've heard this before. What? The oil stain? Yeah, the oil stain. Tell me that that does not totally look like Jesus. Yep, I'm pretty amazing. That dog blew up again. Are you sure? Um, Let me put your hand. I don't know. I'll be as gentle as a lion. Fine, but I'm against it. It works out with rapes. Wow! God, I hate that Wayne. Whoa. No way you're ever getting sex with a thing like that in your head. Sup? Not like us, right, pal? Hey, Carla! What's up? Hey, I uh, thought we decided not to call me that. I wouldn't normally, to your face. But I'm feeling lucky. You put it down. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not, because he does not know how to write, and I completely refuse to. No, 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 don't shake it up. Let the snow settle. That way you can see the little San Francisco right now. Oh, come here. Let's see if we can see it together. Okay. Ha! Oh, it's not a snow globe, you ignoramus. 
Behold, it is I. I bestow upon you my dirty diaper. But there is another. Who among you shall embark upon such a quest? To, you know, peel it off the ceiling. The stuck up there. Congratulations to me. How's that spelled? Uh, L-E-S-B-I-N. L-E-S-B-I-N. Shut up, you're spelling lesbian. Ah, I got you, man. He said lesbian. <laughs> well, show him the damn future. Hurry up. Prepare to see what cannot be seen. Wait. Hang on. Um, shoot. What's the problem? We have a, we don't have, do we have a problem? Well, let me see, let me see your other hand. No. Okay. What's, what's happening? What the hell? What's it doing? It's pissing me off. No, it's about to just chill out. Well, He's kick it in. A, hold it's on. The I'm future not going to pay you just to do that. Give us a minute, Carl. Will you hit it? No, it's, it's coming. Get a little yeah. professional, please. Oh, try, try, this the, try the middle finger. Oh, that's okay. Because I happen to know the answer. All right, fine. Go ahead, say it. Say the Backstreet Boys. I know. That's what I thought at first, too. But if you think back to the time you took me to the lake and taught me how to go fishing, you realize that has nothing to do with this. The answer is insane. I mean, the t-shirts say Universal Monster, not Universal Piece of Crap like you say. Just answer me this one question. Yeah, what's wrong with your hair? Well, that really wasn't a question. So it is, Grass. Damn. I'm eating it. Is that all brain? I just see a ghost pass through here, cause... I'm really hoping I can that he's gone. He probably went to the store to get some more food for his demons. Oh, are you serious? You do know where the demon food store is, right? What are you talking about? It's right behind you! Oh, no! You're in it! I'm in the store! You're in the demon produce aisle! Oh, wow, you made t-shirts. That's cool. Yeah, let me go get you one. Wow, well... Is that a Powerpuff Girl or something? No, mm. can you not see if she has a mohawk and the wheelchair? We're not getting sued! Yo, Carl! Open the door! Damn it. I got a gift for you. Go away, go away. I'm so tired of this. Freaking go away, you freak. Carl, did ah. you do something behind the couch? Yeah, I did! I lost peace and quiet! What do you need? What do you want? Can I not just live here without having to occasionally deal with you animals? Because someone was too cheap to get some for him. Oh, so, you, so you're talking about me? Mine. I'm talking about the thing in the attic that is stalking me. Please, what do you want for that? Well, he ain't gonna poop in the yard. I mean, he'd go inside to do that. Not if his door is locked. Hey, how'd I gotta go? Do you know how much water is used up every time you flush the toilet? I give. What? Three gallons. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. Yeah. What? Oh, damn! You hit me in the chin! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a ghoul. Well, I'm not. Well, it was your own damn fault for making noises like a ghoul. Dude, I was flushing the toilet. No, that's... You know, I think I finally found a good use for the TV. You put that right back upstairs! No. Well, then... You are gonna help me pull down my chair down here so I can watch it. Here. No, I won't. Uh, well, I will pee all over my pants, and then who's gonna end up looking bad, huh? You just stay down here with your TV and f*** it then, okay? Well, maybe I will. I did it do number two yet? Damn, he drank all the coffee and half of those tablets. He still hadn't gone. Shoot, that boy's gonna poop himself inside out. He's going to lift right off the ground. It's going to be like the Hulk just ripping off the back of his pants. Shut up, Meatwad. Okay. But it's going to smell like a paper mill. You know that, don't you? Yep. I thought it was about time we invested in a high-definition plasma screen. I thought you said TV was bad. It is. But we f***ing need it. Well, get the Universal Monster. He knows how to do it. He's dead. Impossible! The Monster can only be killed by stabbing him in the heart with the ancient bone saber of Zumacalis. Or probably his head and lungs, too. Just stab him wherever, really. And the saber probably doesn't have to be bone. Yeah, really, just anything sharp, just lying around the house. You could poke him with the pillar and kill him. Oh, this arm. Hey, zoom in on this. Happy Labor Day! <laughs> that was our one balloon. Well, Dr. Frylock, while we appreciate your interest in body construction research, we cannot legally send you a quote-unquote buttload of organs, regardless on whether we plan on using them. I didn't say buttload. I said assload. Bureaucrats. To think I was polite with these people, that's the worst part. Hmm, you look smaller in real life. Yeah, I know, man. I've been through lots of changes. I'm in hell, right? Satan says go fish. I'm like, I don't see any cards. And next thing I know, I'm a worm. Mm -hmm. I'm 
me, uh, Rod! Step directly on that. No, 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 wait a minute, wait, I, I got a plan, see? See, we take these monsters, right? We start a haunted house, yeah? Yeah, you feeling me? Yeah, we invite everyone to the haunted house and they come thinking it's gonna be all scary and But in fact, the house is also for sale, cause it's a condo, get it? Like in Hilton Head, and people gonna pay big ass cash money to live there, right? And then we take all that money and buy more psychedelic mushrooms, you feel me? More. I give you the ultimate in military hardware, complete with laser cannon, indestructible titanium exoskeleton, and motion-activated plasma pulse rifles. And you're gonna plug him in? You're right. Damn, what the hell was I thinking? Fudge. That's not an F-bomb. Fudge, you. Where'd you get that? At a farm. Shake. It would take all day to smoke something that big. Smoke it? What are you smoking? Because I ain't slow cooking, Jack. We're flash frying this mother. Gentlemen, fill me with barbecue sauce because I'm dumb as hell. Mira, mira, tú no sabes qué pasa. Yeah, yeah I, I know, Javier. No, 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 I need to leave. Zone and target. Got him. Pass your butthole. So, uh, what are you going to do with all that oil? Well, I guess, uh, gee, what will we do with the fat of a hot oil? I'm going to tip it over. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not doing that. Look, relax. I am respectful of my Earth Mother. Now let's tip. Shake, are you mad? What are we gonna do to me? I wish I could tell you, Shake, but I don't know. I don't care. It's gonna be fun to see. Typical filthy humans. You have no respect for us trees. He ripped my arms off. I didn't rip them. Shake, you're making it worse. Go back to your strip malls. Where values are key. Look, we just want to celebrate my birthday with some cake. No, I don't want no cake. I want me some pie. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No, sir. Well, let me break it down. You know when you're on the shower with some fine foxy hoochie mama, and she got that... What? Uh, meat what? Well, I don't know if I believe that. I mean, I've seen action figures without the pants. They ain't got that. Uh, meat what? Shh. He is talking here. Oh, oh, I mean, I don't mean to interrupt. Well, that is not a knife! Okay, okay, Boxy, put the knife down. Let's all sing happy birthday, ready? Happy mm, uh, happy birthday. Uh, uh, happy birthday. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> no! I'm too young! Right Have you seen my wife? You call this organic? Well, you look in the box. All oh, they sent were eyeballs. I'm not going near that box. Let's just see if it works. Wait a minute. Before you turn them on, do you think you'll be able to see us? In ways you can only imagine. But look, I mean, is he going to be able to chase us? Because if I woke up looking like that, I would just run towards the nearest living thing and kill it. Hey, y'all check me out. I'm Sean Cassidy. Put those back. They're not for you. Yeah, that's a good one. What the hell are you talking about? Well, he was a horrible boy, and, you know, they was private eyes. Plus, he had, like, ten eyes in his head. Okay, I'll give it to you. Hey, have we always had this tree out there? Yes. I need to be more observant. All right. I will help you, and we will take it to a, you know, a proper recycling facility. Okay, you got that in? Yeah. Tip it over, then run like hell. So freaking illegal. Hey. Hey, where are you? He did it! The money is going to roll right in. Do you know how many birthdays there are a year? There are hundreds. Literally hundreds. Get up! He's my lawyer! Right, like, help you! You gotta oh, help all me! All right, all right, all right. I want you to tell me the truth, though. Did you do this? Right, like, come on, you know me. How long we known each other? You did it. Of course, but listen, the point is that they don't know that. Okay, look, um, me feels no agenda to meeting and vacuum and leadership position, so me has composed 12-point plan for good, happy success. How childish. Look, an animal bone. Bone! Good! Ah! What are you supposed to be, Friday? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a sailor on shore leave. From the ship of the damned! <laughs> Okay. You know, the ship of the damned. No. Uh -uh. Famous short story about a ship that had a hole in it. No. Yeah, just go put on your ballerina shoes and get the rest of the outfit. Be who you really are. Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, you suck. Exhibit B. Advance the wooden video to the accused setting fire to Big Ralph. 
Guilty as sin. Oh, not be guilty. His name was Ralph. Don't you touch those. They're in mint condition, and they're going to stay that way. Well, I touch them all the way to the trash cans. You I touch don't. those, and your G.I. Joes are going to be M.I.A., my friend. And then who's going to call little Mama Joe and tell her that her boy ain't coming home? Because somebody was asleep on guard duty. You are the gayest monster since gay came to gay Whoa, town. Whoa, easy. Where, where's this coming from? No, let's get down to it. What I say is very baffling. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 you two. We don't want any trouble here now, okay? No, I'm with you. I don't think violence solves anything. God, you're gay. You don't think violence solves anything? What kind of monster are you? Look, I'm, I'm pretty hardcore. I mean, I've been known to... Do a number on plenty of cats. Do a number? Yeah, I bet you do a number. In your tights, on Broadway. Which is where you moved to after you left Texas Chainsaw Mascara, where you're from. What's he talking about? Oh, well, I mean, you did call the police, right? Oh, yeah, good one. I never thought of that. No, they they stopped taking my calls, like, long ago. Wow, there's treasure under all these X's? Yeah, obviously. Amazing. These are the same exact spots where you wanted me to plant those disgusting azalea bushes. Monsters down there, okay? You just hit a sinkhole or something. Okay. You stay right there. I'll go get a flashlight. I got it. Holy crap, and a peanut! And, and wear this sailor's hat, too. Oh, would you mind, please? We're working here. I just think the sailor's hat adds a nice... It's gonna land us one of those rainbow flags to hang out front. Now get out of here! Oh, crap. What? What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? Um... What are you doing here? I live here, ass. I haven't paid taxes in six years. I'm not getting busted by a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I just said you guys had a little run in, but he's a decent guy. I mean, once you get to know him. Bull crap! I know that guy was all over you with his axe. No, that don't sound like Jerry. Not the Jerry I know. Took me to Merry Christmas. Which is a strip club. Merry Triple Xmas. You see what I'm saying? Give me that sandwich! <laughs> Wow, so you saying it was fun? No, oh, no, that's I'm built out an ox. You didn't do Jack, did you? Blood Feast Island Pansy, which is your new name until you earn the right to kill. I saw you ran through a couple of lights, and I'm thinking, surely this little lady wouldn't do that in her own town. Where are you from? No, they were yellow when I went through them. Uh huh. They were red, like your ass is gonna be when I get through with you. All right, step out of the car, please. Have you had anything to drink tonight, ma'am? Oh, hell yeah. Can I make you something? Uh, what, you looking at me? <laughs> what do I look like to you? Brother, you look like a fat man in dire need of an ass bruising. <laughs> nice. How's he doing out there? He hasn't done jack. He's been sawing on that thing for two hours. And are you sure he should be using a saw? Well, not a plastic one. I knew that looked wrong. You need this drill. Hey, yo, come here. You got a couple hours? Go ask him about the funny time he ate all the boiled peanuts. Is it fun? I thought I'd laugh till I died. Um, no mayo. Uh, hang on. Uh, Dr. Weird? My ass has finally decided to eat my hand! It hungers for more! Uh, yeah, just the one hoagie. All right, look, I've dealt with a lot of rugs before. The number one thing you don't want to do is wear it to bed. Because you will swallow it. Just one time, I rent me a pressure washer, start this business, me run pressure washing. But then I was told, you got to have a license. I says, license? <laughs> How am I supposed to be in this country? None of that old man. Now why don't you go back into your house and shut up? Why'd he do that? Why wouldn't he? I'll know this. If you're an object, don't ever cross me. I proved it to your CD. I proved it to your window, and I proved it to your record player and your lawnmower. And I will prove it to anything else. It's like a negative planetarium on that thing. Because she's got all those moles. I did it. You gotta work with me on this. It ain't making me laugh, but I did it. All right. I'm, you know you guys take the fun out of living? Invite Carl to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Well, isn't that sweet? Too bad it was over a week ago. Don't matter. We're doing it today. We don't usually celebrate. We ain't American. Yet, till we pass that dumb test. That test a bitch. Oh, hey. How's it going, Wisdom Cube? Oh, hey. I'm sorry. We didn't mean I'm the real Wisdom Cube. This is my cousin, the dumbass Ahedratron. I mean, you see me like this, right? Yes, I, I have. I, t I told you I did. I, I just didn't know I was supposed to. It's gonna end up in your lawn anyway. 
Don't go! Oh, where are you going? Oh my God, you're I was just getting ready to rock your world! What's going on? Carl, let her go. You're highly infectious. Carl, I'm afraid you've been clowned. Yeah, I thought my flip-flops felt a little tight. <clears throat> Let's go up. For the fellowship we have with uh, our... Uh, what's our fellowship? It's a gay bar down on 9th. Aren't you glad we're thanking the Lord for a nautically themed gay for bar? For the fellowship we have with our neighbor Carl. No, do not rope me into this. The Lord does not need to know that I'm here. <sighs> Please help us to be... Oh, man. Okay, who's going to riddle this turkey? Out of the way! I will ruin this bed with my anger! Hang on, Carl. I'll be right back. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I have no freaking idea what I'm doing. Hey, Carl. Is that all you came to say? Are we, uh, we done here? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, then what? Well, I mean, that's fine. We won't eat him, but, I mean, look at him. He's dead. He's dead? He's been in our oven for three hours at 350 degrees. Why, that's impossible. Look at him. He's dead. Look, when we go in there, you need to watch where you step. And why is that? That is part of the reason. Hey, Meatwad, what's wrong with your eye? I got me a chicken infection. Oh, that's perfectly all right. He wanted it, and I said sure. Is that a taco pie? Mm-hmm. Taco pie. I had a food color because it's a holiday, but it turned black because I added all the food color in the house, and I ate this butter straight out of the tub because it tastes good. There's a reason behind everything. That coat rack just broke. What? What? I said the coat rack broke! Chet? Kent? What the hell was his name? Eat your own damn milk. Yeah. He's out. Hurry. Fine. I am not spinning. Don't you touch me. Now, roll call. Prepare to kiss ass. When I say your dumb name, please stand up briefly, but then quickly drop to your knees and forsake all others before me. Here's a dumb name, Moth Monster Man. Right here. Uh, did someone leave a window open? I think I heard the wind. Boy, you better drop to your knees and do it right. Yeah, hey, you know what? Th this is my two weeks notice. Sam Hain! Forever! <laughs> what the? Hey, this closet was full of TVs last time I checked, and that is none. Cause you keep breaking them. Cause you keep pissing me off so bad. You should be lucky and thoughtful enough to throw the anger at the media and not your buttocks. All right, fine. F it. Yeah, f it. Just say here, and let's consider the word here to be short for here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. You do as the scorpions have before you. I'm not in the business of seeing whatever pleases you. Get back here, you son Well, I'm in business. Business of kicking your ass. And let me tell you, business is booming. I'm open for business. <laughs> business of giving you the business. Hope you're back. Did you hear me say that? You looking to expand your business? Hello? Aren't you coming back? Hell no. Well, listen, we would love to make the ice cream social, but, but um... What? Steve. Yeah, lie to us. We've, uh, kind of gotten behind at work. We have become one! Every time you break a TV shake, where do you think they come from, huh? Jesus. The trees. Did anyone see a large tree in the bathroom? Oh, yeah. They left a message. They're running late. They're catching a ride with Flargan and Dingle. Flargan and what? Me what? You turn it on. I ain't going near that TV, boy. I think that thing's a lot. Go over there, get close to it, and touch it to turn it on. What you give me? Six months to a year. And brother, you are dead. Who is the Zonald Edwards? Zonald? What kind of a name is Zonald? <laughs> Damn, I've never heard such Zonald. I'm the one who's sorry, okay? I'm sorry I made the cheerleading squad and you didn't. It's okay. You were the better cheerleader. Well, I was no slouch. Did you see me do those cartwheels? <laughs> I identify with that. Hi, everybody! Come, man, start jiggling! 
I like jiggling. Stop vibrating, Emery! He's just trying to control us! You both back away. I seen what you done on the TV, and I seen what you done to the TV. I ain't afraid to use this. You're holding it backwards. Well, let me help you. There you go. Cybernetic ghost of Christmas passed from the future. Thousands of years ago before Sigourney Weaver... Here, we'll work just fine. Thank you. Here. And no smoking! Give me a smoke! Give me a smoke! Give me a smoke! Oh, stay with the patch. Your blood pressure. Aqua teens, come out and meet your doom. For we are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Monday, Monday Tuesday. No, it's just one week. Please, stop.